everybody. Welcome to another stream here on uh, youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I am Johnny Chiodini. What are we playing today? We're playing Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection. It is a game that it's on Game Pass, which is why I started playing it, because a friend of mine um, sort of suggested that we, we give it a bash, all of us together, because um, it's got co-op, and I was like, this is going to be weird and probably not much fun but sure if you want to do that that's what we can do it's amazing like it's great um it like i don't know what like i've so i've got a friend joining in later once he's finished work uh it's just it's just really chill and like re really good fun and i'll you know what i'll just show you i'll just show you it's easier that way isn't it so we're gonna do a new game i'm gonna do challenge mode Challenge mode lets you and up to three friends um, sort of basically just start building a zoo from uh, from the get-go. Um, Liam Tunmore is in the chat. Says, hello, everyone. Hope you're all well. Just finished work, so I thought I would watch someone else do some of my job. Haha. <laughs> yeah, Liam actually is a zookeeper at uh, London Zoo, so I kind of feel like I'm slightly under pressure here, but hey-ho. This is, this is going to be a mostly chill stream, so we're going to set up a challenge stream, which starts off with... Sweet bugger all, actually. Um, you have absolutely nothing, and then you have to build it up um, and get all of the required species to make sort of a varied zoo with lots of happy creatures in it. Um, and each zoo has a star animal, a star species. So you can see here, if we wanted to do a West Coast animal park in North America, the star, star species um, is peregrine falcon, um, but you can't just get that you have to adopt one from an alpine zoo. My friends and I discovered this because we did a West Coast animal park and we need a peregrine falcon. So I'm just going to do us a little, little alpine zoo. Where's it gone? Alpine zoo. Alpine zoo. We're going to do the alpine zoo um, so that basically we can raise a peregrine falcon and yeet it over to uh, the other zoo and make that one better. Um, we're going to start this zoo. Start bloody zoo. Um, so you may have watched me, uh, stream Jurassic World Evolution a while ago, um, uh, which was somewhat chaotic because all of the dinosaurs got out, brackets were released, and they killed a lot of patrons. Um, they can't kill other people in this one. Uh, they can't get out of their enclosures, but it is very important to keep them happy in their enclosures. Otherwise, they're just sad. Um... So this is uh, this is the zoo. Guests are complaining about the low variety of animals in the zoo. That's because there are no animals in the zoo. So the zoo overview, um, which you can see in the corner here, um, um, hmm, uh, just gonna sorry, I'm just gonna tab over and just check on the stream. Okay, it's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it looked a bit weird in my in my view, but. Um, so yeah, no, no slaughter on mass, Seatog, sadly. Um, Emma Benton says, yes, so I can now be a snow leopard and not be murdered. Yeah, naming, naming, um, naming creatures after your viewers when they can die turns out quite a risky strategy, but, uh, so anyway, yeah, the zoo. Um, they're happy with the availability of food and drink. It's nice and tidy. There's apparently plenty to do. Um... They can reach a toilet and it's nicely decorated. But um, the guests aren't really happy because it is a zoo. Animal happiness, hunger, cleanliness and variety are all in the toilet because there aren't any animals in the zoo except for this one animal, a lemur that lives on this lady's shoulder and is an absolute agent of chaos. Just waggling its little tail in my face, which is kind of grim. When you consider that um, lemurs, uh, the way they compete for territory, they'll have stink fights. Uh, they sort of rub scent all over their, their tails. Um, they're like, scent that up. And then they just waft their tails at each other. Um, so the fact that it, it, I mean, we'll do it again. The fact it's like, have some of this, have some of this. It's horrible, horrible, absolutely horrible. Kobe Morris says, what is in-game Johnny wearing? Um, the best outfit in the game, I think you'll find. Um, anyway, right. Look, oh, yeah, there's also a macaw. Um, 
I promise, I absolutely, I promise we're going to start building a zoo any second now. But first, I just want to show you these buggies because, number one, they're adorable. And also, depending on the one you have... Tell me if the audio mix is okay. Can you hear that? Just, just roaring away like a tiger. Or, if you get in the elephant one... Meow, meow. Game audio is a bit low. Thank you, Ronnie. Here we go. Just go up that a bit. Give it one of those. Oh, and in fact, I'm just going to whack it all the way up because um, the game audio is already ducked. In fact, I'll turn the game audio up. Ah, good times. How do I go to settings? Actual settings, though. I don't want to go to the main menu. Ah, oh, there's an arrow there, isn't there? Options. Let's uh, let's up these a bit. Return to zoo. Right. And then make sure you can see chat. Hello to all of you, by the way. This is a bit better. So we're into the buggy. And you can hear... It trumpets like, a, like an elephant. And um, this one is obviously just a, a normal buggy, so it just makes a car honk. And uh, what sound does the zebra make? Just like, just like being in Africa. So anyway, you've got a buggy. You can drift, uh, which is pretty great. Uh, you can try and uh, you can try and knock out guests, but they always get out of the way. It's kind of harmless. Um, it's great fun, but. Anyway, we're not going to have many guests unless we build build a bloody zoo up. So, let's have a look at what we can get. Um, animals. Currently, we can have some antelope. We can get some topi antelope. What are topi antelope like? Grasslands. So, let's get into it. Just going to... Oops. There we go. Build zoo. Exhibit. Grasslands. Grass... Currently, all we can afford is a grassland small, which is not ideal, but that's fine. Here it comes, descending from on high like a really weird UFO. I suppose all UFOs are weird, really, aren't they? They're unexplained. You just slap that down. It's so much simpler than Jurassic World Evolution. You slap it down, you add a path, and then, bang, it's built. Um, so what you need to do then... Is we need to get some, some animals, obviously. Like, that's just good practice. Um, but first, we need to make sure that those animals are going to be well cared for, because, you know, otherwise they'll be miserable. Um, so, we're going to build a station here. Uh, first of all, uh, antelope-like grass and leaves. So there we go. Bang. Feeding station. Doesn't look like much, really. If I were keeping antelope, I don't think I'd just carry out, like, a salad bar. But, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not a zookeeper, so... Um, of course, all antelope are born with the innate knowledge of how to use a shower. So we built them a shower so they can stay nice and clean. And then we also want to give them something for enrichment, because animals will get bored unless they have things to interact with. Um, Severin Tiger says, wow, this really is dumbed down from the original. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very straightforward and very simple, but it's just kind of chill for that reason. Now, an antelope, I think you'll agree, absolutely bloody loves a, um... Actually, they don't love that one. What do, which one do antelopes love? Okay. The antelope really enjoys the, uh, weathered whacker rope toy, but we can't get that yet because we're just a level one zoo, which is fair enough. We have no animals. Apart from that one chaotic lemur and a slightly aloof accor. Uh, accor? Macor. There you go, Liam Tunmore says, all about the enrichment with a smiley face. Okay, so now it's... It's not the antelope's favourite. Oh, my face is covering that up. Maybe I'll move my face. Let's move my face a bit. Where's my face going to go? Oh, no, that's the game. Face. Hello, face. Yeah, face. We'll put it... I tell you what, we'll put it up in this corner for now and... Uh, if that's a problem, we can swap back. So... Ah, there we go. Right. Debarked basher rope toy. Antelopes love it two stars out of three. 
they don't love it all the way. Giraffes are the ones that go nuts for a debarked basher rope toy. But given we are just a poultry um, level one zoo, that's just what we're going to have to go with. So then we're going to edit this. We're going to hit animals. And this is where things get fun. Um, we're going to get antelopes. We're going to get some topi antelope. Uh, as it says here, they like grasslands, which is pretty good. This species is pretty common around here. Guests like it, but they won't be over-enthusiastic. I think they'll be fucking thrilled, because it's going to be the first animal in this goddamn zoo. Um, anyway, topi antelope. Let's have a look at the ones on offer. We've got Echo, who is a level 2. Uh, they, level up, they level up as they age, so level 2 doesn't mean it's crap, it just means it's young. Echo is a little babby. Then we've got Lily, we've got Ashley, we've got Bumble... And we've got Dominic. I mean, we're probably going to rename all of these. So, I mean, Lily... Lily seems like a pretty decent option. But it also says... Uh-oh. Now, this is this is where I dis You know, this is where I, I rankle at the fact that you can't have a bigger enclosure from the get-go. The minimum social group for antelope to make them happy is four animals. This enclosure can have a maximum of three. So we're now going to hire two more antelope, knowing full well they will never be truly happy here. Uh, let's get Bumble, and then we'll get Ashley. So we're gonna get some antelope in there. The exhibit's now full. Yeah, I know. I know, and it's too bloody small. Anyway, right, let's, let's hit ground level, shall we? Let's have a look at these bloody antelope. There you go, there's a child. The child's talking to nobody, but is absolutely delighted. We're going to, uh... Why can't I go into camera mode? There we go. We now see it absolutely not bothered, just strutting out like it's nothing. There's two antelope, and the chopper's bringing in the third. Everyone... Everyone's saying that it's, it's a bit dark. We can just build another enclosure and move the antelope. It's absolutely fine. Do not worry. Oh, is one of them going to take a shower? Who's this? It's like Love Island. <coughs> Hooray! More people. <coughs> More people. People, antelope. Oh, the child's delighted. That's good. Now, so, so here we go. We've got, we've got this zoo such as it is right now and we've got one exhibit in it but you'll notice we've got a lot of land to play with and by the end of this we're going to have a buttload of animals so in order to keep track of them while we're in this view what we really need to do is name our exhibits so uh and i it, it helps to name them after antelope so we need the word antelope in there Oh, there we go, look, hey, zoo fame increased. So we can now adopt white-tailed mongoose if we want. Um, a new rope toy, a new outback. We can we can get another lemur keeper if we want. Um, um, antelope, what did I call them last time? Um, oh, that's a good one, Joe. Up the antelope, very good. I like things like this. Uh, and then rate this app. Thank you for playing. No, don't ask again. I'm busy. Edit exhibit. I'm literally giving you a review of it right now out loud. I bloody love this game. It's great. View animals. Okay. Space. Select animal. Rename. Who wants to be a female antelope? Well, says up your antelope. Maybe I shouldn't ask, I should just start naming them after after people in chat. Right, Stephanie M. Stephanie M. Stephanie M, Nevermore, and the, that one with the beard. Um, all want to be antelope, so that's fine. Okay, so that is now Stephanie M, the antelope. Uh, this will be... Never more the antelope, and then we've got. This is 
This really works well for an antinote name. That one with the beard. <laughs> oh, dear. So, okay, that one with the beard. So, social need is a bit low. Oh, and that one with the beard is actually hungry. But look, they're going over to... Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, I want to... Oh, look at them go! Having a great bloody time. A burrito has done a super chat to say was confused by the honking as to whether the zebra was just a striped racehorse, but the issue is black and white. Boo! So, yeah, um, those are some antelope. They're doing all right. They are, some of them are a little bit hungry, but, I mean, there is food there, so they should be able to eat it. That's a bit funny. I'm just going to make sure that the food, the feeder I've got in there. Yeah, antelopes bloody love it. Right. Um, lots of you requesting to be specific animals. I will do my best, but obviously I'm not going to be able to keep all of that info up here. So we will see. We will see. Severin Tiger says, I think you can guess what kind of animal I might want to be. Probably. Yes, that one at least I can keep track of. So let's go back to animals. Uh, we've got three topi antelope. We can't get any more types of antelope. Lemurs. We can get a red lemur if we want. Um, meerkats and mongooses. Now, I mentioned before that this is a challenge zoo, and if you look in the challenges, currently the only challenge we have going is complete the zoo collection by adopting 28 specific species. Um, Anonymous says, if you hear hoof beats, think horses. If you hear honking, think zebras. Very good. Uh, uh, okay, so yeah, we need to collect 28 specific animals. So how do we do that? We look at zoo collection. Common species, we've got one, we've got one antelope. Once we can get them, topi antelope will do nicely. Lemurs, we need one type of lemur. It's a red lemur. Can we have a red lemur? Yes, we bloody can. This might seem a bit slow, but like I mentioned, a friend of mine is gonna join in later once he's free. Um, and, uh, Honestly, we've got this down pat. He will absolutely smash it. Aoife Byrne has done a super sticker. If you don't know what super sticker it is already, let me describe it to you. Because it is a pair wearing a sports headband and it's kind of reclining with its feet up going, how's it going? Um, and it's bloody lovely. It's it's become a bit of a staple actually of the, um, of the, uh, of the channel, which is nice. Also, I feel so pathetic this week because like last night I was going home and I stretched I was like ow oh I'm in pain and my sides were really aching and my back like felt really stiff you know like when you've done exercise and a couple of days later you really get like the sort of the muscle tension and the ache I was like what have I been doing I was racking my brains to think what it was I'd done this week that might have uh, you know been strenuous enough to cause me this ache and then I realized the answer was playing board games. Because um, apparently I'm just falling apart. Now, I'm, 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 I've probably mentioned this. I'm part of a Blood Bowl league. I mean, I've almost certainly mentioned this. Uh, and I was a bit behind on all my matches. So over the last three day, well, last couple of days, I played. I finished a game that I'd started before with somebody. So I played a half. Then I played another match. And then I yesterday went to Oxford to play two more games. So in the space of about 30 hours, I played three and a half games of Blood Bowl. Games of Blood Bowl can be about five or six hours. And the boards are really long, so we couldn't have them facing that way because the table wasn't wide enough, so they were like that. So I was constantly reaching over both ways to move stuff on the board. And I just, it's done me in. It's absolutely ridiculous. I just, I've, I'm gutted. Um, uh, Rowan Douglas has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, just want to say a huge thank you. Your work has helped keep my spirits up as I've been coming out and transitioning. Congratulations, Rowan. That's amazing. And I'm really, really glad that um, I've been able to help, even if it's just by sort of being a silly person on the internet. Like, that really does mean a lot. So thank you. Um, Josephina Wengerberg has done a super sticker. Is a Shiba Inu standing up on two legs like a human? What's it doing with its front paws? That's a great question. It's going, ha, huh? ha. Huh? It's kind of like doing like a cute, like, hello, I'm a Shiba Inu kind of thing. So that's that sticker. Um, and yeah, um, 
there we go. So that's that's that. Um, ooh, Jonathan Hogg says, uh, speaking of board games, my wife and I have just started playing Wingspan. Brackets, yes, I know we're two years behind, and it's so good, so chill. Similar vibes to this game, actually. I bloody love Wingspan. It's great. I've only ever played the digital version, but even that is just a, an absolute delight. Right, so we need lemurs. Lemurs, excuse me, like a tropical rock. And these are like mini exhibits, but they're bloody useful because they don't take up much space. And they're really, really, really good for um, just getting getting your, your required species numbers up. So, and they've got everything they need built in, so you don't need to add a feeder or anything. Uh, Aoife Byrne has done a super chat saying, I'm able to catch the stream today because I finished work three hours early. Meh. No customers, as no one in their right minds, want to go to the cinema on such a sunny day. Fine by me. Oh, that's lovely, Fed. Welcome aboard. Hello. Ooh, donated animals. I can have a donated animal? Wait. Ah, uh, Ulysses. Yes. Ulysses is a smooth-fronted caiman donated by my friend. That's for a different zoo. So I can't... Yeah. Um, oh, Selena Steele's on the Super Chat saying, After a week stuck with transphobic family, a stream from you is a massive relief. Please name a lemur after me as they are my favourite animal. Selena, you have got it. I'm sorry you had a tough week. Um, I'm very glad to be helping here. Um, so, let's see. How many... Okay, let's get... They need... Okay, minimum social group is three animals. So let's get... Steven, just coming. And... Uh, oh, no, let's get... I mean, I know I'm about to rename this... this Lima, but Perky? What a name. Exhibit's now full. View animals. Um, oh, bloody hell. Having a ruck already. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Per Perky? It's a misnomer, isn't it? Right, select animal. Rename animal. Selena Steele. There we go. Um... Wow, Stephen, you just, like, mauled another lemur while it was meditating. That's grim. Okay. Um, name a lemur Fema. Yeah, I quite like that, actually. Fema, the lemur. No, just Fema. Slightly macabre. Ralph Stickley says, nice secure enclosure for those lemurs. Yes! Zoo level three. And Titan Uranus says, Lima me. Okay. Rename. Titan Uranus. I wonder if we'll be allowed that. Yes. You can't. Look at, look at you go. Uh oh. Oh no. Look out. Oh no, wait. Oh. Fema's too bored to meditate. Anyway. Um. Let's call this Lima, Peru. <laughs> um, we, Kobe Morris says, Fema, the Lima. Feels like they might have a bone to pick with that. Right, so now we've got lemurs and we've got antelope. How is the zoo doing? Right, they're happy with food and drink and animal cleanliness and hunger and la la la. That's all good, but we... Uh, we need more animal variety. So, we're just going to crack on, do the exact same thing again. Zoo collection. What else do we want? Or need, rather. Um, caimans? Can we get caimans yet? Caimans, llamas, mongooses. I know we can get a mongoose. So, let's do mongoose. Some of the some of the AI in this AI the UI is a little bit fiddly. There are bits of this that I don't really understand because my friend John, who'll be joining in later, um, does a lot of the research for us. So I'm just off picking up poops and and things like that. Right. So white-tailed mongoose. White-tailed mongoose bloody loves a savanna rock, which is another mini exhibit. So what we're going to try and do is chain them together a little bit, kind of like polyps. <laughs> <laughs> but polyps for interesting animals. I'm sure that actual zookeepers think about these things in a more, um, in a less grim way. They probably don't use words like polyps when they're just talking about zoo layout. But uh, right, so uh, here's Savannah Rock. Uh, it's got everything it needs already. So adopt new animal. What can we put in there? Mongoosesuses. 
unfortunately, we can't yet adopt a white-tailed mongoose because we don't know what one is. So we need to research it. So we're going to pay 30 zoo dollars uh, to spend four seconds googling a white-tailed mongoose. Okay, we now know what a white-tailed mongoose is. That's great. Minimum social group of three animals. They like Savannah Rock. So we're going to get Scotty. We're going to get Andromeda. We're going to get Vinny. Sure, why not? Um, okay. And then, the ex oops, the exhibit itself. We need to rename. Um, Mon the Geese. Uh, just so we can keep track of it. Because you'll note, like, again, this is going to get real intense. But uh, there's a ping section, which is ping animal happiness. All that, they're all hungry, not hungry. They're all clean enough. The antelope could do with more friends. We knew that already. But the others are okay. Animal habitats are fine. And it shows you the species. But when you've got bloody loads of them, it's really hard to keep track of. Which is why naming the exhibits is really useful. There's Mon the Geese. There's Lima Peru. There's up the antelope. So. Uh, but we need to rename some animals. Video animals. Vinny! Vinny the Lima! Is going to be renamed... Will says, so I thought this was going to be Zoo Tycoon as I played it in 2005. This looks ace. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a really chill. It's really, really chilled and I really like it. Um, what? Chaos says, I was at Edinburgh Zoo a few weeks ago where they have giraffes for the first time. In Hang on a minute. I'm just going to read all of this in, in case it's a joke I've not seen coming. Piper Barnes wants to be a mongoose. There you go. Peter Fisher says, Mongoose me. Um, uh, Peter Fisher. I apologise if the um, the sex of these animals is uh, different to your um, to your gender. I haven't really been paying attention. Um, so, right. Chaos says, I was at Edinburgh Zoo a few weeks ago where they have giraffes for the first time in, in years. The keeper told us that the reason why it's a group of five males is so they can destruction test the enclosure before they bring in a breeding pair. That's amazing. Okay, Aimless Cryptid wants to be a mongoose. Okay, right, that's all of them. Okay. There we go. Aimless Cryptid. There you are. There's Piper Barnes. And then let's just welcome them to the zoo by whistling for our car. Lovely. And then we'll just get in there. Oh, I missed the challenge. That's really annoying. Mongoose. This is, I assume, exactly what it's like to actually work in a zoo. Okay. Well, I've got the buggy stuck now. So, yeah. Right, let's see what other challenges we have. Zoo demonstrations. They want to see a sensory enrichment interaction performed with one of your animals. Okay, we don't have any animals right now that we can do sensory enrichment with. But let's, uh, let's try and make that happen. So challenges come up. I didn't realise there was one that just said, take a picture of an animal. Um... Dr. Moss says, did someone just chuck a car at Johnny from across the zoo? Yeah, that's just how it works. That's how you, how you get them. Uh, let's see. What are things that we can do enrichment activities with? Can we do enrichment activities with antelope, I wonder? Let's have a look. Let's go back to an, up the antelope. Exhibit items. Enrichments. Edit enrichment. Oh, do I have to get rid of this? Let's sell it for now. Sell the exhibit item for a refund. Oh, I can't, because one of them's using it. Typical. All right, sod that. Let's see what other animals we can get right now. Animals. Cockatoos, meerkats, mongooses, trumpeter birds. Hmm. Might just be. We might miss that. That, um... 
that challenge after all. Let's not worry about it. Let's get some uh, mongooses -ooses going. Or mongoose. Um, Alex Simpkins says, Serious night enrichment is so important for animals in captiv captivity. It really is. Uh, oh, wait. What did the mongoose like? It was Savannah Rock, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Our chain of tiny exhibits. Yes, domestic llamas. Hello. Anna Janice's office, which is actually quite important. Okay. We're going to connect here, but we're also going to connect here. Okay. And then we're going to get some animals. I don't need animal. No, we've got mongooses, zooses, mickets, Bjorn, Suki, and Mab. Queen Mab. Okay, everyone seems quite excited that we're going to have llamas. Um, right, let's rename the meerkat exhibi exhibition. Uh, Hakuna Ma Meerkats. Terrible. Absolutely awful. Okay, animals. View animals. Let's get this done. Who's been a meerkat? Cookie Cat 94 says meerkat, please. Cookie Cat 94. Done. Next. Suki's being renamed. Uh. Diana wants to be a llama, that's fine. Um, uh, not Hakuna Mekata, very clever. Um, Meerfon's available. Brooke Boyd is now a meerkat. Bjorn It's going to be Alex Fuller. Okay, and just because I'm not happy with Akuna Mamirkats, it's going to be Meerkats the way I like it. Okay, new challenge, sick animals. Sick. Okay, sick animals. Uh, there's a sickness bug going around the animals in the zoo. You need to make them all better. Pick up the medicine in a buggy at the zoo entrance and get it to them fast. Uh-oh. Because I always get John to do this, but John's not here right now. So, here we go. Hello, Arcadia. Just arrived, sadly, I missed the beginning. What did we miss? Uh, still a lot of buggy talk. Uh, Burrito has done a super chat saying, Mongies are just duck imposters. I'm banned, aren't I? How are you doing, Johnny? I'm all right, actually. Thank you very much. Right, go, 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 go. What are we doing? What? Do I have to... Oh, God. Hi. Okay. Oh God, camera, please. Yeah. Ah, crap. Forty-two seconds remaining. I've never done one of these. The camera's awful. Is that it? Oh no, it's not it. Shit. Camera, please. Camera. <laughs> Out of my way, zoo people, guests, that's what your name is. Come on. Shit. Two, one. Did I do it? I did it. I did it. So the zoo's setting off fireworks, which is a famously good thing to do around animals. Wow. That was horrible. That was absolutely awful, but we did the challenge, so we got two and a half grand for that. I don't really think that, I mean, Liam Tunmore, maybe you can, um, maybe you can correct me on this, but I don't feel like it's common for people to go into a zoo and offer the zookeepers two and a half grand for driving around um, in a really unsafe manner, you know? Uh, right, let's get some llamas. Wow, that was intense. Okay. Space build zoo. Uh, exhibit. And even plateau. Can I only do a small one? It's really annoying. We'll build bigger ones and move the llamas later. 
Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, right, let's see about exhibit items, enrichments. Is there anything llamas like? No. No, we need sensory ones, don't we? Hang on. Enrichment? No, not enrichment. Interactions. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Build interaction. Sensory enrichment interactions. I need a lion, tiger, chimpanzee, jaguar, or cougar? Well, that's not going to happen. We can build a feeding interaction, though, so I'll do that, but that challenge is ridiculous. Right, feeding interaction. Boom. But we also need animal care. So they need... Uh, we should get them a feeding station anyway, because they shouldn't be beholden to guests to eat. And then we'll give them a carved moose. All right. Um, we're going to rename this Lamalopolis. Okay, and then... Oh, that's not matched up, is it? There we go. There we go. Okay. Lamalopolis currently has sod all animals in it. Oh, Llamageddon. Very good. Llamas. Domestic llama. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, everyone. We need to spend 180 zoo bucks in order to Google a llama. Okay, we've done it. We know what a llama is now. Jefferson the llama. Yep. Minimum social group, four animals. Liam! Liam the llama. Not enough money. Oh god, I can't afford a llama. Oh, I can afford Mandy. Mandy costs practically nothing. Can't afford Tim. Tim's a bloody expensive llama. Um, I mean, obviously I know that zookeepers will research animals, because, like, you know, they need to make sure that the animal is accurately, you're adequately cared for. But when you're doing six seconds of research, that's just Googling. Right, okay. Um, who was it who said that llamas were their absolute favourite animal? I've forgotten. Can't afford Liam. We levelled up again. That's the level up music, isn't it? Okay, we're not going to do the zoo demonstrations. Animal release. A mystery person wants us to get an animal to level 15, which is the max, and release it into the wild, presumably so it can be hunted. But we'll do that later. Twas me. Shadow Piranha. Diana. Diana Brackett Shadow Piranha wants to be a llama. Okay. Okay, right. Animals. Oh, view animals. Seriously. Oh. Um, okay. So, Diana. Square bracket. Shadow Piranha. Close bracket. God, I hope this zoo is GDPR compliant. Um, okay. Keep calm and reload, says Llama me, please. Keep calm and... Reload. That's a really sinister name for a llama, isn't it? And I think that's all the llamas we have right now. Let's see if we can afford a new llama. Yeah. Goldie, Kiki, Girish. Let's, let's adopt Girish. Brad Stokes says, Johnny, what team are you playing in Blood Bowl? I'm playing dwarves. Liam Tumble says, fun, f fun llama fact, their spit is not saliva, it's vomit. Wow. That's horrible. I mean, I've, I never really wanted to be spat on, or puked on, by a llama anyway, but I especially don't want to now. All right, Girish. Rename. Um, let's see. Um, okay, Dr. Moss. The guests are di disappointed that I didn't do the demonstration. I mean, I don't have the right animal to do that demonstration with. Oh, sorry, everyone. I'm out of llamas now. If you missed out, I'm very sorry. But there's going to be more 
There's going to be more animals to deal with. Okay. We've, we've run into some problems here. They don't, they don't have enough food and drink. The toilets are dirty. And uh, the place hasn't been nicely decorated. So let's get into facilities. Let's build a restroom. Nope. And then I think we're going to have to pick up some poops. Probably empty some bins. It's a glamorous life running a zoo all by yourself, I have to say. Well, that's probably not a well-placed toilet, but I don't care. Uh, rename the toilet. Slurry. I don't know why I did that. Right, let's look into decoration, because some of the decorations are absolutely hilarious, like the topiaries. What's that? We can build a bear topiary. Oh, that'll be cute. Let's just, you know, we'll get a little bush and we'll just make it look like a little bear cub, shall we? Yeah, all right. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> look at it. It's absolutely bloody huge. Let's try and... Sure, there'll do. Bang! Please, the zoo, I want to place a path. There we go. And then place some more paths. And uh, more paths. And we're going to call this... Uh, can it be named after me? Will. What else should we call it? Because I normally, I normally call this like a someone, someone memorial fountain, but I don't want to do that to you. Will, who is a bear made of leaves now? No, lead of, made of leaves? No, no wait. Just Will. Will is fine. There we go. Let's go have a look at Will. There you go. There's Will. <laughs> It's having a great time. Front paws on a sphere. Just having a having a majestic roar. Will is only one star, but we can fix that. I just Yeah. Okay, we we can't make Will a three star topiary just yet, but we will. Get out of my way, everyone. There we go. There's Will the Bear. Will says, Hell yeah, I'm a hedge. <laughs> uh, what's next? <laughs> it will never not be funny. Just gonna welcome Will the bear. Abby Marie says, almost as tall as actual Will. <laughs> this is true. Emma Benton says, why do we have a bear? A hedge the size of a small building. Uh-oh. The cleaning station in Mon the Geese has run out of water and needs refilling. This is where we have to then go find Mon the Geese. It's not that one, it's that one. Uh, but that is when pinging animal species comes in really handy. Because you're like, where are my mongoose? There are my mongoose. Exhibit items. Feeding station. Feeding station is okay, but the cleaning station is empty. So we need to put $100 of water in it. Presumably because we're buying individual bottles. Uh, Dr. Moss has, um, we, Dr. Moss has done a, um, super chat say, just going to donate to the hedge fund here. Um, right, open zoo menu. <laughs> okay, how are we doing on the zoo collection? What do we need next? What do we need next? Because, right, so it's really chill. Hopefully you'll agree, but it's also, there's just so much to do. Greater Flamingo. Okay. We don't have a Greater Flamingo. Animals. Flamingos. Greater Flamingo. Tropical pool. <laughs> Ronnie says the mongoose will only drink Fiji, damn it. The bottles do look nice. Uh, right, build zoo. Um, mini exhibit. What do they want? Tropical pool. I think it was a tropical pool, anyway. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm just going to try and find a little, little corner for this to go in. That'll be fine. Yes! Look out, everyone. We've unlocked a brown snouted caiman. And then we'll do that. And we'll connect there. Okay. 
customize. Um, uh, uh, oh, I increased my fame level a hundred times while playing this game, apparently. That's good for me. Flaming miles. You unlock caimans and also wading pools at the same time, which is, IMO, a suggestion. You'd think that will, but wading pools are actually for things like hippopotamuses. And caimans just like a pool like this. I'll show you, look. Adopt new animal. Caimans. Just shove them in there if we want. But we've already called this after flamingo, so we're just going to Google what a greater flamingo is. It's going to cost us 90 bucks. Nathan W says, I will take a flamingo. You've got it. Okay. Greater flamingo. And they all are it. Oops. There we go. There's Nathan W, if ever I've seen him. Jordan Pinkfoot. Nathan W. Brad Stokes says, I would also like a... Flamingo, please. Brad Stokes. Alex Simpkin wants to be named after a caiman later on. I, I'll, I'll do my best. I'm not going to remember who's asked for what, so just wait until I'm building it and then we'll see. Jamie McCluskey wants a flamingo. Done. Reed still says, where do I apply to be the guy who gets paid $90 to Google animal facts? Uh-oh, we need to go look at up the antelope, because it's run out of stuff. Okay, that's Llamalopolis. We don't need Llama, we need up the antelope. Exhibit items. Animal care. Okay, the feeding station needs to be refilled. Mm, we can get macaws now, and also medium and down plateaus, which is good if we want llam... Well, we've got llamas, but more llamas. Happy llamas. Okay, uh, what we should do, though, really, I, I, I imagine by this point... Yep, poo. Right. There's eight poops. We need to pick them all up. Here we go, that's all of the poo. Let's have a look at Llamalopolis. Just one poo. Pathetic. Uh, let's see about the other exhibits. Meerkat's the way I like it. Three poops. Good job. Keep it up, team. Uh, Mon the geese. Three poops. That one with the beard says, sorry, Johnny, it's all that food I ate. That's okay. Uh, Lima, Peru. Three poops. Good job. You should all be proud of yourselves. Flaming Moes. They've not pooped yet. Okay. Arcadia says, you'd think a zoo would hire staff for that. Oh, you've reminded me, actually. Thank you. Hang on. Uh. Yeah, build zoo. Facility. Janice's office. Oh, sorry. Before we can hire a janitor, we just need to Google what their research, uh, what their office actually is. It's going to take a minute. Just going to look up what a janitor is. Diana Shadow Prana says, "Got to go, but thanks for this lovely bit of chill time. Take care of yourself. Um, I hope you have a rest of the rest, a lovely rest of the day. God, I hope you have a rest of the day. Sounds really threatening." Good luck. I hope you make it to midnight. No, t take care of yourself, Diana. Thank you so much for joining in. Emma Benton says, I'm glad they went, hey, we're going to simplify these mechanics like the enclosure building, but we will not get rid of the poo pickup mechanic. Can you hire Ati? That's a very good point. Um, okay, so we're still researching that. Call the janitor's Ati's office. Will do. 
Isabella C Isabel CW1 says, this person bought a zoo with absolutely no prep, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed another photo challenge. Damn it. Bored guests. They're getting bored. Build something that will entertain them. I've got just the thing in mind. I need to track my um, challenges more. But wait. Lima, Peru is out of water. Where's Lima, Peru gone? There's Lima, Peru. Exhibit items. Oh, and the cleaning station. Okay. Right, so. Stay on stay on target. Remember, you've got things to do. Okay. Facility. Janice's office. Let's put it here. Again, why are you letting off fireworks? You shouldn't be doing that. This is a zoo. Ah, T's office. Okay, and then we need to hire some staff. Hire Nate. Adrian's ninth. No. We're going to hire Nate. Come on. Hire Nate. Thank you. And then we're also going to hire Marcel. And we're going to hire. We're well, not hiring Axel. We'll hire Mete. There we go. Okay, so we we have Janice's now. They'll be around somewhere, which is good because bins can start overflowing. Oops, damn it. Yeah, people aren't happy. Oh, it's okay. People are happy with the tidiness now, but they want entertainment and they want food. So, no, we need to build zoo. See, you know, it's not just about slapping down, slapping down um, animals and saying, hey, look, you know. Concession entertainment. Let's hire a cursed lion mascot. Here we go. Connect. So, right next to the Janice's office, we've got this bozo. Roar. And this couple is absolutely eating it up. One star reviews, though, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. I'm just going to rename this Tom, who spent four years at, at RADA for this. Ah, oh, it's too long. Ah, Tom, who spent four years at RADA. There we go. Let's just... Oh, uh-oh. People are complaining about the terrible smell from Flaming Moe's. On the geese. Flaming Moe's. Poop. Oops. There's two poops in there. Come on. It's hardly a terrible smell. Right. So there we go. Uh, what else don't they like about this place? Oh, food and drink. They want food. Okay, build zoo. Concession. Food and drink. Soft drink stress. We have to go. Oh, should we? Should we Google what a milkshake is? Let's let's Google what a milkshake is. But in the meantime, let's build them a burger barn. Again, absolutely colossal facility. Why is it so big? No one knows. But we're going to put it over here. Stop letting off fireworks. This is a zoo. Okay. Then we're going to just. Rename this place Former Attractions. Let's just try not to think about it. Oh, we can customize it as well, can't we? Look. Uh, let's see. What kind of trees do we have? <gasps> desert trees. Give it desert trees. Yeah, look at that. And then it's trash cans. Well, let's give them cool trash cans. Uh, desert trash cans. And then, how about the benches? The benches can be Andean benches, because they look hard-wearing. What about the walls? Let's give it... Oh, tall desert walls. Lovely! Great, so that's former attractions, our burger place. Good, good, good. Now, 
Okay, everyone's happy. Oh, except for the antelope. Yeah. Ping animal species. Okay. So the antelope. How do you actually move an animal to a different exhibit? That's what I want to know. But uh, okay, so uh, view the animals. Let's have a look at. Let's check in on the animals. Okay. Let's build a bigger grassland so the animals, the, the antelope, will be happier. How about that? Exhibit grasslands. Ah, yes, of course. We just need to Google what uh, big grasslands might look like. Let's let's do a big one. Why not? Yep. Because we'll have absolutely no idea what a medium-sized uh, grasslands will look like until later. But you know. Good, good, good. All right. Um, while that's going on, we don't have loads of money because we've just bought like a restaurant and a Janice's office and stuff. Uh, so let's just, let's take this as an opportunity to advertising. Oh, oh, but we can do research. Oh, this is the stuff that John's been doing. Okay. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Where did I build the toilet? This is one thing that really bothers me about this game. Where's that toilet gone? There we go, slurry. At a facility, price. We're making people pay to go to the toilet when they've already paid to come in. It's criminal. It's horrible. Right, so we've got to wait a minute and 17 seconds before we know what a medium grassland, a large grassland is, excuse me. So, let's just... Oh, Alex Campbell has done a super chat saying, I started watching, so a bit late. Uh, I started watching a bit late, so I'm slightly behind. But if you get any red panda, can you please name one for my partner, Rob? He'd love it. Okay. Now, that I will try and remember. Rob. Red. Panda. Good. Okay. down a child. Okay, three seconds until we finally know what a big grassland is. Let's just try and hit some more children. No, nope, didn't make it. Okay, we parked the car. We can now construct large grassland exhibits. Let's get to it. Exhibit. Hello, exhibit. There we go. Grasslands. Grasslands large. Wow, that is large. Holy shit. Oh, well, maybe we should have gone medium. But we don't know what one is. Okay, it's fine. We'll just... Oh my god, where's this even going to go? Sure, it can just take up... These square miles of zoo. Okay, oh my god. Sure, why not? We can probably fit some micro things. Gems block antelope. Meow, 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 meow. Okay. Connect. We're not going to connect it there because we can fit more stuff in there. All right, grasslands large. We can have 10 in here. Let's build some items. Animal care. Build station. They'll want something to water themselves with. Done. Hey, we won the competition for best kept animals. <gasps> They've entrusted us with an animal to pick up from the reserve. Yes, please. Okay. So we've got that. Build station. Wait, we want enrichment. Build enrichment. Right, which... Oh, my God. Yes, we can build the Twisted Thumper Rope Boy. Rope Toy. Oh, God. Aging Dr. Freud. Um, Will asks if you can have multiple species per habitat. You can. So, um, we're going to we're gonna do that. First, I need to work out. I want to move the antelope. Oh, no, Lamalopolis. They're not happy. Then, oh, they're not happy at all. They hate it here. Why, what's up, llamas of Lamalopolis? 
Are things, do things need refilling? I thought you liked it here. Yeah. Let's, let's refill that. Let's refill that. It's all right, buddies. I'll spring you, spring you soon enough. I'll build you a bigger Andean plateau. Okay. Uh, what other challenges do we have? Concession shortage. Former attractions has run out of stock. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, God, we've got to do another stupid driving mission. And it will punish me if I don't do it. Look, I know we have to make the llamas happy, but first I need to drive some frozen burgers at breakneck speed across this zoo. Okay? Out of my way, children! I'm trying to make more money! Piece of piss, mate. Stop setting off fireworks! Good lord! Challenge complete. Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, Lamalopolis. We'll deal with Lamalopolis in a minute. Up the antelope. Animals. View animals. How do we move the animals? Select animal. Move! Okay, so this is where I get slightly nervous because there is a bug in this game where, yeah, I want to move the animal there. What's going to happen is, you'll see it in a sec, a chopper's going to come in, and the antelope is just going to walk in. Oh, no! Okay, bad news, everyone. We've got a gastroenteritis epidemic, which means that all of the animals are just going to be shitting loads. The, um... We could pay money to sort this out, or we can just carry on, um... picking up more poo. So we're going to do that. But when the helicopter comes in, I'll show you before I then go pick up a load of poops, um, the antelope will just casually walk in, and it will probably get just like sort of carried over to the other enclosure come out and and be happy but sometimes they just disappear and never come back uh but the enclosure still claims that they're there but so you can't get any more but the animals funnily enough will notice that they're one antelope down and they'll get sad so it's a dangerous business hiring this chopper which in theory is going to come here. Okay, good. One out of four. One out of th three. Three? Yeah, okay. Animals. View animals. Edit animal. Move animal. Yeah, you're going to go over there. Yes, I want to move the animal. And then who's next? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Animals. View animals. Okay. So now we're going to move Stephanie M. Stephanie M, if you get lost in the ether, I'm so sorry. Okay. Then the flamingos need more water. Exhibit items. Cleaning station. We'll refill it with $100 of water. Fine. Um, okay, grassland, three, okay, claims, it claims there are three antelope in here. I think we can all agree that is one antelope. And it's not loving it here. But animals, adopt new animal, what else can we shunt in here? Antelopes, uh, gems bock. Yeah, we can get some gems bock in there. We could wait for alpacas. Let's just get some... We'll, we'll try and look up what a Gemsbok antelope is. Have some of them. And if we can put llamas in it, can we... Uh, no, wait, this is grasslands. Kind of don't want grasslands. Um, oh, God. Don't panic. It's okay. You just have to go and pick up a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, let's start with the empty enclosure, shall we? Silly. Okay. What animals can we put in here now that maybe don't require such a big old... Animals! Adopt new animal! I don't want to put more antelope in there. Let's tell you what. Tell you what we're going to do. We are going to... Sell the exhibit. Bang! 
Gone. Poop. Grab your poo. Good. Hi, if you're just joining us, uh, we're playing uh, Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection. Currently, uh, all the animals have diarrhea, so I'm just, um, just picking up their poo. So, um, yep. Will says, vital information, when an antelope or springbok jumps directly upwards, it's called pronking. I knew this, actually. Okay. There's a terrible smell coming from Mon the Geese. Oh, I just, just cleaned it up, it's fine. Mon the Geese is smelling nicer, now the poop has been cleaned up, that's good news, isn't it? Any poop in Grasslands Large? You bet there is. Feeling right at home, aren't you all? Okay. Animals. Adopt new animal. Antelope. Now we can have more antelope. Oh, we can also have some gem spark. Uh, they don't love it in the grasslands, though, so we'll just get more topi. Because they bloody love a grassland, don't they? Uh, let's get Rory as well. Oof. Okay. Right. Hold on to your butts, everyone. We've got a new antelope to name. It's so majestic. Now come here. Rename you. What? Animals are dirty? What animals are dirty? Oh, it's great that it doesn't tell me where the where the bloody water needs replacing. Right, animal hygiene. Aha, there we go. Aha, new challenge, magazine photograph. Not gonna miss this one. Refill the cleaning station. And the feeding station while we're at it, why not? It's very relaxing when you're when you're playing this not on a stream, but streaming, it's pretty intense. Chaos says, fun fact, a springbok can jump higher than the average bungalow. This is because of the high tension ligaments in the antelope's back legs, and the fact a bungalow is a building that cannot jump. Very good. Okay. Um. Oh my god, and they're still bored. They're still bored, and they want more decoration, and they want more toilets. Are they not impressed with, with what's-his-face, who went to Rada? Fine. Slot a toilet in there. Rename. Turlet. Okay. Right, they, they're happy with the restrooms now. They want more food and drink. Concession. I guess we didn't research milkshakes for nothing, did we? Can I fit? No, can't fit that in there. My one gripe with the building mechanics in this is very, very easy to, to build things. Stop doing that! But it does mean that you just get these weird islands between pathways. Uh, uh, what do we, what do we call the milkshake stand? Um, 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 hmm. Nathan W says, well, I'm going to play Civilization 6. Have fun. Oh no, Meerkat's the way I like it. It's run out of, of course, of course. What, what was I even thinking? Thank you, everyone. It's the yard. <laughs> The yard? Want just one star? Absolutely not. I saw Kelly's uh, play a festival once, and she did not do that song. She refused. Lima Peru is full of poops, is it? All right. And what was the other one? The meerkats are filthy. Okay. Lima Peru. Poops. That's Flaming Moe's. That's Mon the Geese. Where are the... Where are the lemurs? Oh my god, and what's this now? What what he's doing in here? Alright, yeah, oh my god. The flamingos just won't stop crapping. I know they've got gastroenteritis, but come on. Okay. Um Mon the geese is full of poops. Everything's just full of poops. But we've got a super sticker. It is the little sort of lime pal that is friends with the lemon. He's sort of marching with pom-poms and occasionally being like, way! So like, march, 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 way! Which is nice. 
Okay. Why are the animals dirty and meerkats the way I like it? The cleaning station is full. So, that's not my bloody problem. Anyway, right. Uh, oh, what are we doing again? Animals. Few animals. Oh, yeah. We were going to rename some... Kinel! Okay. Well, at least they've stopped... At least they've stopped pooping. Okay. Jonathan Hogg suggests I get zookeepers to help delegate some of the poop scooping. Never! Only cowards don't pick up the poop themselves. Uh, antelopes. Who wants to be an antelope? Sarah Greenwood wants to be an antelope and Amanda Corey. Oh, wait. Amanda Corey. Done. Chaos says actual fun, real flamingo fact. The fact they stand on one leg is because the water they feed in is so al alkaline that it dissolves their skin slowly, and by alternating legs, they mitigate that. Also, they get their um, colour from their diet. Um, so when they're first born, they're not pink. Um, okay. Uh, all right. The guests want more decoration. Apparently one topiary isn't enough. Uh, they can have a fountain. Let's research an anteater fountain, shall we? Let's look up one of those. Uh, what did they want? They wanted more entertainment. In session. Entertainment. Uh, cuddly toy shop, tiger mascot, lemur keeper. Let's get another one. Oh, whoops! I was researching what a what a fountain is. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Decoration. Oh, for fuck! I forgot about the magazine photo. Ay, 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 ay. Great. And we're only six of the twenty-eight species in. Playing this single player is a lot more involved than playing it with two or three mates because they just go like ah, I got this like yeah I'll do it sorry just responding to a message from my wife who sent me a screen cap of the thumb for this stream and just the question why uh, concession, entertainment, Lima Keeper. Come on, let me try and plug one of the smaller, smaller gaps in the zoo, please. Bang! Uh, rename, Lima Keeper One. Um, uh, Uh, probably won't bite. Done. Okay. Um, I still want decoration. Fine, fine, fine. Decoration. Fountains. Antita fountain. Let's let's research it. Thirty seconds, and we'll know what one is. Then we can just get back to making animals happy. Oh yeah, we need to make the llamas happy, don't we? Llamalopolis. Uh oh, they really they really hate Llamalopolis. Let's sort this out. Wraith Shadowheart's done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, thanks for the chill stream while well, filling out forms for new job tomorrow and panicking that they will change their mind last minute. They're not gonna change their mind and they wouldn't have hired you if they didn't think you were the right person for the job. Do not worry. You are going to absolutely nail it. And I know first days are always so stressful, but Oftentimes, it's just orientation stuff. That means you don't actually have to do loads, so fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, good luck tomorrow, Wraith Shadowheart, and thank you very much for the Super Chat. Nick Jeffrey has um, done a Super Chat saying, Hi Johnny, I really wish you were able to play the Simon and Garfunkel classic song at the zoo while playing this. I learned animal facts from it. Huh. I didn't actually know that, that song existed. Okay. 
Alright. Wait. Can we build the... Can we build the fountain now? Anti to fountain. Yes! Anti to fountain. So small compared to a mighty bear topiary. Bang! Okay. Look out, everyone. We can have a turtle plaza. Self-cleaning habitats? Say what? Eh. Come on. Oh my god. Just want to build a path. And then go make some llamas marginally happier. Build path. Done. Okay. Antita Fountain 1. Um. Splishy, splashy. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Build. <laughs> Build. Exhibit. New challenge. Toy time. What the fuck is that? Toy time. Your animals in Lamalopolis are bored. Build a new enrichment item in the exhibit to meet their news. All right, that's what that was. Okay, well, we will do that. In Lamalopolis. Exhibit items. Enrichments. Well, there's no, there's no space left. So, I'd have to sell their feeder. Oh, it's because no, one's, no one gives a crap about feeding them. Okay, edit exhibit. Exhibit items. Interactions. Uh, edit interaction. Sell it. Yes. Enrichments. Build enrichment. Uh, what do you... What do you... Oh, I know what llamas like. They love a good tabletop. I'll take after my own heart. Bang! There we go. Got paid some money. Habitat happiness is going straight up. We're still going to build them a larger enclosure, though. Because it's not fair otherwise. Medium and doing plateau. Lionel L has done a super chat with music notes saying, Something tells me it's all happening at the zoo. I do believe it. I do believe it's true. There is almost certainly a melody to that, but unfortunately, as I said, I didn't know that was a song, so I don't know said melody. I apologise. Uh, Brian Mullard has done a super chat saying, Just woke up. It's 2 a.m. in Sydney. and I'll be back to rewatch this at a reasonable hour. I have a feeling that you'll be convincing me to buy yet another game. After all the skeleton pals and you, Johnny. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, go back to sleep. This will be ready when you wake up. All refreshed and ready to learn about Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection, which is available on Game Pass, at least on PC. I don't know about um, console. So that's good. Okay, we're going to rename this to Megalomalopolis. Megalomalopolis. And then we're going to build things in it. We're going to build. What are we going to build? Not animals. We're going to build exhibit items. We're going to build... Enrichments. We build them a new, brand new tabletop. Bang! And we're going to build them a uh, grass and leaves feeding station. And a carved, carved, carved croc cleaning station. And what's that? We've got room for another enrichment. Yes, please. Enrichments. Uh, I could do an interaction. Interactions. Build interaction. Feeding interaction? Yeah, you can feed llamas. Okay. Right. Now it's time to get all the llamas out of Llamalopolis. But before that, I'm actually going to research a keeper's facility if I can get one. So you keep a center. Yes. Let's do that. Because to be honest with you, it's probably not ethical that I'm trying to run the entire zoo in... Oh, it's also on console. There we go. Bang. Game pass. Get it. Or don't. It's, you know, up to you. But uh, I, th I think it's quite good value for the amount of times that one of my friends will be like, do you want to just play this game that you would never, ever, ever, ever play if it weren't for the fact that we could just install it for nothing? It's like, yeah, and then we end up doing this. So, Okay. The Great Llama Migration is underway. I hope none of them get lost in the post. Because, like I said, it's a genuine danger. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, reserve animals. What was my... Okay. Yeah, I don't want to place an animal there. Edit exhibit. Okay. Animals. What were the animals in the reserve that I could have? <gasps> Zena! And Lena. And Ivelina. Ivel What's... Evelina likes a tropical tree and is a boa constrictor. Yes, please. 
and uh, a Chichoan Bushmaster uh, also likes tropical trees. We're going to build a couple of those. But first we're going to adopt this llama. Megalamalopolis. They bloody love it. Okay. Uh, tropical trees. Two tropical trees, please. Uh, mini exhibit. Tropical tree. Then we're going to build a keeper station. The zoo's coming together all right, you know? Come on. Come on. There's got to be room for... Yeah. I was going to say, if there's not room for it there... <coughs> Excuse me. Just connect. There we go. Um, constrictor. I barely know her. Reserve animals. Irelina. Let's have a look at our free snake, shall we? Where's it gone? Why is the mouse so bad? Why is the camera rather so bad? It's torturous. Come on. Zoo fame increased. Surrey alpacas. Surrey alpacas? I wonder if they would like to live in the, in the, in the zoo. Okay. I just, I just want to enter camera mode, thank you, so I can see where this flipping snake is. <gasps> I saw movement! Hello! Right, you know what, there's an easier way of doing this, isn't there? Edit mini exhibit. Animals. Animals. Why is it slow? It's really complaining. It's just not letting me click on things. There we go. No, that's not much better. Oh, there it is. There's a bar constrictor. That's good. Animals are still dirty? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I'm on the geese. I'm on the geese get through a lot of water. I'm not being funny, but... I'm on the geese. Okay. Ooh, I'm a bad zookeeper. And not like in a fun, sexy way. Like in a, I should feel bad about myself kind of way. But this is quite a large zoo now. You know? Right, we need another tropical tree for our other free snake. Come on. Can it? Damn it! The mystery backer is not sad that I didn't get an animal to max level and release it. That's good, because frankly that sounded shady as anything. And I'm not sorry. Um, let's see. Animals. Adopt new animal. Oh, we didn't rename the um, reserve animals. We didn't rename the other snake. Or the other llama. We'll go back and do that. Bloody hell. Edit mini exhibit. Animals. View animals. What up, Lena? You're good. Yep, you seem fine. I mean, you're hungry and dirty. Your happiness is going up. Let's just give you a lovely new name. Danger Noodle. Uh, and then... Customise. No, not customise. Rename it. What even? What even animal is this? I can't remember. Oh god. Animals. Your animals. Danger Noodle is a Chichuan Bushmaster. Ah, uh, Bush. Bushmaster General. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Cleaning station of in Mon the Geese has run out of water again. Oh God, they're all they've all run out of things. All right. Oh, we didn't rename the grasslands. 
Exhibit ice. We need those keepers quite badly, don't we? I admit it. I'm bad at running a zoo. Just refill that while we're at it. Meerkat's the way I like it. Go there. Go there! Exhibit items. Cleaning station. Refill it. And what was the other one? I'm on the geese. I'm on the geese. Exhibit items. Cleaning station. Refill it. Cleaning station's fine. Okay. Build zoo. Facility. Zookeeper center. Hi, everyone. Listen, I'm bad at my job. So now it's your job! But I am your boss, so if you do my job, which is now your job badly, I'll yell at you, even though I'm bad at it. And that's why we're going to call this... Peons. Is that how you spell peons? Maybe not. And a facility. Staff. Hire. Right, no messing around. Jay. Welcome aboard, Jay. And hire. See, look, Flaming Moses has had its poop cleaned up, and I didn't even do it. Janeth. We'll hire Janeth. Tom Williams has done a uh, super chat saying, Hi, Johnny. I learned two things working at a zoo. Peacocks and hippos are both passionate and noisy during mating season, and there is nothing funnier than watching a parent explain that to their kids. <laughs> Very good. That is news to me. Right, grasslands large. Um, and loads of them. Right, that's and loads of them. We've got a tropical tree to rename somewhere. Oh no, constrictor I barely know. Oh yeah, we just need to rename the actual constrictor. Animals. View animals. Rename. Hooray! We can hire some agouti if we want them. Evelina. Um. Um. Um, bad dog, do not pet. There we go. Oh, sorry, Wes Plays, you were literally seconds too late um, to be, to have that snake named after you. Okay, what else can we have now? Bloody loads of things, look at this. Snakes, blah, 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 no fosses yet. Falcons, that's what we're after. Level 20. Don't get bears until level 32. Yikes. Okay, but right, anyway. Animal collection. Let's get let's get back on track. Oh yeah, advertising. Let's Let's get back on track, they said. Okay, advertising for beginners. We're gonna hire an ad agency. Animal breeding, animal transport. Uh okay. Open main zoo menu. Zoo collection. Caymans! Let's get some caymans on the go, eh? Broad, sna broad snouted cayman. Which, oops, if memory serves, enjoys a tropical pool? Tropical pool! Okay. Let's do this. Build to mini exhibit. Tropical pool. Five by five. But no, I placed you. Curse you. The game is behaving slightly strangely. Like some of the menu items are really low to slow to interact. Aren't they? 
Okay, rename. Okay, man, how's it going? Uh, Will says, question, if you've not researched animal transport yet, are you just bundling them into the back of a transit and hoping for the best, or just giving them 190 for the bus? No comment, Will. No comment. Cookie Cat 94 has done a supercut. Say, last time I visited the zoo and there was a baguette in a cage. I asked the keeper about it and they said it was bred in captivity. Yep. That happened, didn't it? Ow. Adopt new animal. Caymans. Okay, sorry everyone, we've just got to spend $120 on googling what a broad, uh, broad snouted caiman is. Okay, we can get one now. Biscuit. Okay, they... <gasps> Johnny? It's not spelt the right way, but sure, I'll be a caiman. Edit mini exhibit. Animals. View animals. Biscuit. Who wants to hang out with me in the caiman exhibit? Oh, blimey. These caimans are livid with each other. Joe says, can I be a caiman? Yes, you can, Joe. There you go. Joe the Cayman. And then rename. That's better. Yep. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Ah. Uh, right. That went well. Let's just keep cracking on with the zoo collection. Oh, wait. Let's do some more research. Uh, let's see. Media expert? Mm, no. Mm, animal breeding? I guess we could do animal breeding. Concessions, A. Eh? Ooh, minus 10% concession. <gasps> minus 5% exhibition maintenance. Yeah, let's make those cheaper. I've, no, I've not done any of this. John does all this normally. Right, okay. Zoo collection. Common species. Let's keep going. Macaws. Blue and yellow macaw. Okay. Oops. Ugh. Animals. What is a blue and yellow macaw like? Apart from um, fruit and seeds. Tropical trees. Let's get it done. Mini exhibit. Tropical tree. We've not built a tropical pool yet. Let's just slap one of those down and see what see what we can put in there. Why not? Treat ourselves. Then we might go for a little joyride around the zoo, to be honest with you. Just to sort of see how it's come along. Uh, what's going in this? Oh, my cause. Uh, cool, blimey. Macaws. Sorry, just one sec. Got to Google him a core. Okay, cool. We're good. Rudyard. Three. They want three of them, do they? Ooh, that's a nice one. And we'll do Roland. Okay, we've got three macaws. View animals. Macaulay. Colkin. Uh, Alright. We've got two macaws left. Who's going to be a macaw? Abby Marie says parrots are social animals. Uh-oh. We didn't adopt a sulfur-crested cockatoo. I didn't even know I needed to adopt a sulfur-crested cockatoo. Was that going to be free? Alex Simkin says, can I be a cockatoo, please? And CO Tog. 
Which one's this? Oh, no. No, that's fine. Ah. Call the Culkin and... Sorry, everyone. I don't have the capacity to n name every single one of you. Well, I'm going call after one of you. After every single one of you. Words are hard. All right. What was the mini exhibit we were going to slap down? Mini exhibit. We don't have a bush grove. Let's treat ourselves to a bush grove to see what we can get. <gasps> New challenge. Magazine photograph. Right. This time I will not be bested. We're even going to abandon this exhibit for now. What do you want a picture of? A blue and yellow macaw? Brilliant. That's dead easy. Oops. Come here, you stupid piece of shit, bird. Done. Keep the photo. Ah. Bang. Sick animals. There's a sickness bug. Oh, not again. Okay, we've got $1,500 for that. So, we're just going to sort out this bush grove. Let's just see what we can shove in here. Adopt new animal. Sorry, not shove. Ah, oh, falcons! Great, it's useless. Useless for now. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it's useless for now. Right, you know what, bush grove? We're selling you. Get out of it. Okay. This is going to be really difficult because we've got loads more zoo exhibits now and the camera in this is cack. Oh, I wanted to throw another buggy at me. Okay, here we go. Yep, that was a really good drift. Well done, me. I drink your milkshake. Yep, ran down a kid. Pretty cool. Well done, me. going the wrong way. Oh, shit. Really like the horn is in key with this song. Let's break down. Yes! Cool, cool, cool. Look at our lovely zoo. Look how far we've come, everyone. And to loads of them there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, they hate it in their habitat. Shit. Why? Okay, buddy. Let's... Oopsie. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh god, that probably broke all of their legs. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Right. Hey, buddies. Let's just look at the animals. You animals. What's wrong, pal? Okay, you hate your habitat. Okay. Guess they just need more enrichment stuff. Enrichments. Okay, also... Hang on, oh, for God's sake. Exhibit items, animal care. Oh, good God. I didn't put anything in here. Oh, I gave them a feeding station. I don't wonder they're pissed off. 
My God. They're not giving them anything. What a dickhead. Enrichments. Yeah, you can have all the enrichments, sweetheart. Just call me Wendy says, oh, lordy, Johnny's playing our game. Hello. Who do you from fr Frontier? Okay. Uh, what do antelopes like? Probably not things that are built for jaguar bars. All right, they bloody love a rope toy, don't they? What's their favorite one? It's the vine wrap pummel rope toy. You bet your ass it is. Let's research that. Stephen Paul says, I like the background music. It's good, isn't it? Okay. Let's build another enrichment. Do antelopes like shelters? No, they don't. Do they like slides? No. Do they like tabletops? No. Do they like wading pools? They don't hate them. Ah! Oh, no. A drought. Okay, antelopes. They two-star like these. They can have one. They'll enjoy it. They'll, they'll get into it. It's fine. Are there any interactions that they'll, they'll like? Feeding interactions? Yes. Hose interactions? No. Okay. Yeah, we'll do a feeding interaction. Let's go. Let's feed an antelope to say sorry. Oh, we'll also pick up their poops. Okay. Okay. Feed the animal. Come over here. Here's a banana. Have a banana. Have a banana. Nom, 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 nom. How was that, buddy? Did you enjoy that? Do you want another one? Yeah, I'll give you another one, yeah. There you go. I eat whole bananas too. I play a lot of Sea of Thieves. Come on, buddy. Nom, 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 nom. I love it when animals like nuzzle in like that. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Bye. What the hell was that move I just did? Anyway, right. Tycoon view. Uh, ping animal. I don't want to ping hygiene. I want to ping can have a drink if they want one. <laughs> Flaming Mose. Exhibit items. I'll refill that now anyway. Cleaning station. Okay, all right. You're okay. You're okay, aren't you? Um, oh, the guests are getting bored, are they? <gasps> meerkats. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're going to grab ourselves a meerkat. And then we'll, apparently we need to build, we'll build an entertainment thing for them if they want. Concession. Entertainment. Alright, I'm going to build you something, but you're going to have to pay for it. Have a balloon shop. There you go. Does that make you happy? Here, look. It's a balloon shop. Balloons for chumps. How do you like me now? Yeah, well, they seem to enjoy that. Okay, meerkats. Exhibit items. It's really hard not... not. Okay, Megalomalopolis. Needs some TLC. Exhibit items. Animal care. Unlocked fosses. Fosses are pretty cool, actually. I like them. Of cro yeah, let's just upgrade that. Or not upgrade, refill it. Okay. Wonder if we c if we upgrade that, will it stay? Probably means it won't run out so fast. Never know. New challenge: animal nom noms. Oh, the Lima Lima Peru has run out of. Yeah, that's fine. We can we can do that. Where are my Limas at? Limas. Las Vegas. 
Ah, oh, Lima, Las Vegas. That would have been a good one. Oh, well. Feeding station. Refill. Refill that while we're at it. Okay, what was this? Free animal. So, a meerkat. Oopsie. Animals. Meerkats. Oh, we've already got three of the bastards. Savannah Rock. Sure, we can get some more. Call it more cats. Okay, Mon the Geese needs more, um, water. That's right, that's that's what that word is. Uh, donated animals? Cinnamon? Why can't I get cinnamon yet? Oh, there's cinnamon. Yeah, I guess cinnamon. Oh, no. Grave news, cinnamon has fallen ill from neglect. If they're not properly cared for, then they'll be removed. But I didn't... I literally cinnamon turned up like that. Okay, well we'll we'll check on you in a minute, but first I need to make sure that the, the mongoose are all right. Bloody hell! It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Oh, this this meerkat that's not been well cared for has just arrived, and it's your fault. That's not. Ah, cinnamon's, cinnamon's fine. You gave me a fright there, cinnamon. Alright, cinnamon, you can keep your name. You've earned that much. Oh, they want more decoration, do they? Never happy. Statues. Yes, please. Tortoise statue, cockatoo statue, flamingo statue. Flamingos. You there, Google, Google intern. Here's twelve hundred dollars. Let's let's look up. Oh wait, hang on. I want you to go online and I want you to Google a flamingo statue. See what one is. Then once you're done, I need you to research what the internet is. Okay. Mike Keegan says, I've caught a live one. Wonderful. Nice to see you and everyone in the chat. A welcome day off. Hello. Nice to see you. Louis Fairman says, don't let your parakeets get close. That's why there's so many flying around London. They are thriving in London. They used to just be in like Richmond Park and sort of Kilburn, but now they're absolutely bloody everywhere. Um, if anyone is about to say that they used to belong to Jimi Hendrix and they, he set them free, unfortunately that is not true. But uh, we can all dream, can't we? All right. So here's how the zoo's looking. Challenge free an. Oh yeah, free animal. We're still. Yeah, we just need to. Okay. Cinnamon the meerkat's doing pretty well, actually. How's core blimey looking? We've not checked in on the macaws for a while. New animals. How are you doing, buddies? Ah, oh, you're perfectly looked after. Great. Right, we nearly know what a statue is, so that's good. Uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this, but Jastel Gamma says, Seeing as you need to learn how to internet, what has all your previous research been? You know that bit in Lord of the Rings where Gandalf is like just looking through the library of Minas Tirith? That. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Advertising. Find out what the internet is, please. While I build a flamingo fountain. Fountain statue. Yeah, next to the janitor's office. That seems perfect. All right, Mon the Meerkats. That needs refilling. Meerkat.
Wait, no, that's Mon the Geese. More cats. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, oh, oh yeah, Lamalopolis. It's got sod all in it. Is there anything we can put in Lamalopolis that doesn't require loads of llamas? Alpacas? Well, they want a minimum social group of four as well, so no. Right, you know what? We're going to just sell Lamalopolis. No. Sell it. Yeah. Wow, that place was huge. Let's have a look again at the uh, zoo collection, common species. We're getting there slowly but surely. Trumpeter birds, grey-winged trumpeters. More, more mongooses as is. Okay, white-tailed mongoose, that's easy. Mongooses. Wait, we don't have the other ones. Shit. Uh, wait, where? Sorry, we'll have a break in a minute because my brain's getting a bit fried by looking. Oh, we've got all the meerkats we need. Shut up, Johnny. It's mongooses. But yeah, it's a banded mongoose. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some banded mongoose up in this this business. Banded. Banded mongoose. They like Savannah Rock. Oh yeah, we haven't actually named the zoo. Zoo menu. Rename. Uh, pleasant zoo for friend. Uh, Savannah Rock. Savannah Rock. Savannah Rock. That's what they like. Okay. I think if we've learned anything so far today, it's that when you're building a zoo, you should definitely have more than one person doing it. Because they will forget things. Uh, animals. Adopt new animal. Mongooses. Banded mongooses. Too cool for Cape says, Does this zoo have peacocks that just walk around the zoo like they own it? Is that an American zoo thing? It happens in the UK as well, I think. Uh, Selena... Oh, you just try and stop me from getting a mongoose called Ariadne. Okay, we've renamed the zoo. We've got some, some mongooses there. How's the zoo collection looking? We just need four more core species before we can start moving on to the rarer ones. Uh, but it's coming up on 6 p.m. here, so I am going to take a like a five to seven minute break. Um, so I suggest you do the same. Um, you know, uh, get some water if you need it. Uh, have a stretch. Maybe you want a snack or there's a tiny bit of admin you need to do or whatever. You know how to spend a five to seven minute break. Excuse me. Wowee. Um, if you aren't going to go anywhere and you're just going to sit there, then uh, I'll show you a picture of my dog and we'll play some smooth jazz for... For like I say, five to seven minutes, and I will see you uh, right back here, right back then. So uh, yeah, take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll be right back.
Hi everyone, uh, welcome back, and more importantly, welcome, hello to John, my friend, who is in also in the zoo, loading into the zoo. Loading into zoo. Uh, John, you may remember, has been on the stream before. Uh, his Sea of Thieves pal is, uh, well, we mostly just played Sea of Thieves together, haven't we? Oh, there was that time we played, uh, not, down, not Down City, Ponks. So, Ponk. uh, and I'm re actually genuinely, legitimately glad that you're here. Uh, <laughs> because uh, I was I I only just discovered the research tree. Ah, uh, admin. Also, yeah, we're also in the middle of lovely, a drought. Lovely, lovely admin. Oh, well, right, you, okay. you just un you understand it, and I don't. That's all. Okay. Lovely, uh, lovely admin. I've just got to mm. make sure some meerkats don't die of not having enough water, and then I will come say hi, and I'll try and run you over in a buggy. How's that sound? Lovely. Great. Um. We've been fe uh, renaming a lot of the animals after people in chat. Um, cool. But also, I haven't exclusively been doing that because at times it's, it's well, it's, it's admin, which is what this game is. But uh, where are you it right now? Are you in tycoon mode? Yeah, hang on. I'm back. Uh, by the bench. I see you. Hang on. <laughs> I absolutely still love it when this game throws a buggy at you. There you are. Here I come. Get out of the buggy. Hello. Hello. Oh. Ooh, Christ. Everyone in the chat oh. is saying hi. Yes, the drought uh, is over. The drought is over. Excellent. Hello, everybody in the chat. Um, you're How looking much very poo fresh. Picked up? Uh, picked up quite a lot of poo. We've already had a, an outbreak of gastroenteritis, so Lovely. that was pretty intense. Uh, I've had to do medicine and food runs that you normally do. And bugger yeah. me, they're stressful. Yeah, they've... you got to go and get the ticks, haven't you? You're yeah, horrible. But anyway, here's so now, the zoo. What were they? What were they? What were they? What were we just gone past? I think they were they lemurs. Looked... They looked active. Hmm. Also, interesting thing. Uh, oh, yeah. In this, when I when you honk, your facial expression changes. You look really angry. Oh yeah. Found that out I the just... other day. Oh yeah, you do. Oh yeah. yeah. The ghost of Laura Palmer says, hello, Hackney. Hello, Laura Palmer. The Apparently, ghost. the ghost of Laura pa the ghost of Laura Palmer. Uh, Brendan Jelly says, is this John, the same John from Hackney Brewery who helped you make the Witcher brew? Yes. Yes. The very same. Lovely beer that was. Yeah. Well, I mean, your brewery makes really nice beer, so that's, you know. There you go. Yes. You're welcome. What uh, uh meerkats cool? Got some, got some meerkats. Is, is there um Oh we've got a meerkat in there called Cinnamon who uh, was uh, sick when uh, we adopted her. But now mm. she's getting better. Oh, I have okay. missed almost every single uh photograph, photograph. challenge. <laughs> I just keep missing things. It turns out this game is actually nails well not nails, but it's a lot more hectic when it's one of you it's rather new. than three. Yeah. See the uh Bins need emptying, huh? Oh shit. I did hire janitors. I haven't seen one actually. Oh Christ, they really do, look. Just uh, empty that bin. Empty trash can. But the zoo's going alright. Where have we how far have we got? I'm gonna check out. Good, good change in the toilet prices, because you shouldn't have to pay to go to the loo. Thank you. Uh oh. It claims that our Let zoo collection. See. What the fuck? Has it just has it taken out all our animals? What's going on? There are animals in this zoo, right? Animal variety is fine on mine. What, yeah. What's, oh, well, I'm looking what's... at the zoo collection in the. Oh, yeah. There's 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 me, the caiman. But I looked at the zoo collection in the main menu, and it claims that we've got none of the species since we oh. went online. Because I've taken the game online, so John can. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. I says I've got like you got three flamingos, two caiman. Okay, that's all right then. Could you have a look at common species then and see which ones we still need? Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, how do I? Thank find you. Them? Uh, Will says, "Here, John, will there be any sours on soon?" Uh, yes. You've always got peaches. sours. On. Always got peaches. Millions um, of peaches. Uh, I think there's still some mojitos left. And 
maybe some more soon. All right. You heard it here so, yeah. first. Yes, that makes some stuff. Nice. I brewed an interesting beer yesterday, if, if anyone's actually interested. Uh, yes. Orange and cardamom. Ooh. Yeah, what what right. style of beer is it? A uh, red rye IPA. Uh, that sounds massively up my street, actually. Um, uh, it's, it's fermenting away today. Num, 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 num. Great. I'm going to get us some agoutis. Uh, I'm going to hire some staff. Where's oh, the yeah. janitors? Uh, oh, it's called Atty's Office. A H T I. Oh, okay. Sort of northwest. Oh, yeah. I got it. I'm going to get some more. Yeah. Uh, I've somewhat torturously called the agouti um, pen agu, agu time. It's not my best work. I'm just googling what black agoutis are. Are they? Are they part of the rodent family? I think so. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Annoyingly, um, he had to pop off, but we had a, an actual London Zoo zookeeper in the chat. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, the black agouti, or Dasiproctor Dasi fuliginosa, is found in Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela. Conservation status, least concern. I really like the way they phrase that, because it's like, is it least concern because there are loads of them? Or is it least concern because they just don't like them? They're like, yeah, agoutis, oh, there's only about three breeding pairs left in the wild, but fuck them. All right. We've unlocked a thornycroft giraffe. I've not actually seen giraffes in this game. Uh, I. Yeah, yeah, we did. Did we? we? Uh, maybe. Feels like we should have. Feels like yeah. a classic. Yeah, that's zoo a classic, right? Classic zoo animal. Yeah. Right. Let's rename some agoutis. Uh, Anonymous once says, "I agouti go." Ah, uh, I agouti goes and I've got to go. Well, that's uh, a good enough right. joke to be named after a, an agouti. Agouti go. Um, Agu agouti go. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Carrie Choi has just joined, so sure. Uh, Emma Benton says that agoutis look like capybaras. Yeah, they do have a very phys similar physiology. Go, okay, Carrie. You are now an agouti in the zoo. Hello. Welcome aboard. Okay. Cheerful Spider says, Agoutis are fine, but you look better with a beard. Fireworks went off at the end of that joke, but I don't want you to take that as an endorsement. <laughs> uh, let's see. View animals. I still don't understand why... They're letting fireworks off in a zoo. It's I know. Not, uh, oh shit! Not a dumb thing, right? We can just get. We've got space for giraffes in the um in the antelope enclosure, so we can just smack some uh, giraffes in there. The platypus ten says, "Why are you playing this and not Planet Zoo?" Um, because this is what we've been playing lately. Um, John and I have been playing it with our friend Joe, and um, I was having so much fun streaming it, uh, playing it rather. I was like, "I'll stream this." It so, has yeah. been outstandingly entertaining. It's really good. I did not expect it to be this kind of entertaining. But here we are. Um, the good news is uh, we're going to get falcons at level 20. We've just got another agouti. Shut the front door. A Ag red rumped agouti. Red ramped one. Red ramped. Okay. There's now in in the in with the antelope, which is called antelodes of them. There are giraffes. They uh, this, sound like they'd get on. Yeah. This one's called Nelson. So let's just rename him to Nelson Muntz. Do we just level up again? Uh, I don't know. No. Oh, we made a triumphant. Oh, we made a triumphant noise because we got a giraffe. Fair enough. Uh, 
Um, what's a uh, what's a uh, uh, what's a good name for a giraffe? Michael. Uh, ah, they're gonna shit themselves again. Right, we're not new. Oh. Let's abandon renaming the giraffes. Well, we just. Okay, tall goat is pretty funny. All right, we're, we're re yeah. yeah, animals, yeah. bio animals. Uh, Annabelle is a baby, so that's a perfect name for tall goat. And too cool, too tall for uh, too cool for capes wants to be a giraffe, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, Blackberry oh. is now called too cool for capes. <laughs> Okay. We got. Um, is there a feeding station there? Uh, yeah. Where's that? Uh, oh, like a, like a, oh, a sensory one. one. No, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you could build one though, because I think I think they'd bloody love it. I have right. to go make sure that the macaws in Core Blimey have enough water, F food. That's right. The other thing. Kaza T says, I very rarely get to catch these live. Who has joined you today, Johnny? It is uh, it's my friend John. John runs a brewery. Hello. It's called Hackney Brewery. It's Vega Brewery. Hello. So there. Hello. K-Man, how's it going? No poop in there. I just cleaned up some... Ah, some you've been cleaning up poops. Hard, hard work poop. Cool. Cool, Done. cool, cool. Aha. Very Sensory. Oh, so you're gonna feed some giraffes? Yeah, so we can feed some giraffes. Oh my god. Oh my god, where are you? I'm coming. Uh, there we go. Ah, fuck. Went the wrong way. Come on, giraffe. Come on over. The giraffe's gotta come over. Maybe. Oh! Yeah, here they come. Oh, shit, here shit, come. shit, shit. Are you up the ramp? Uh, now I'm at the bottom. Behind the, behind the pillar. Yeah. Are they coming? Oh, it, it instances animals individually, though, doesn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, I should have got in my... Where's the sprint button? Ah. Oh, for God's sake. I've got to go clean the bloody... I've got to refill the feeding station, cleaning station, whatever. You crack on with hand feeding a giraffe. I might just quickly move it. I think it's in the wrong place. Oh, so we can actually feed a giraffe. Yeah. Cool. Okay, the mongoose are out of water. Mongooses. So I'm going to sort that out and then I'll try and see a giraffe eating something. Good, good, good. Alright, here we go. Currently it looks like you're holding up your hand in supplication and the giraffe is just oh. flat out ignoring you. Anybody? On my screen anyway. Anybody? Yeah, they're, they're literally walking away, not That's interested awesome. in. Oh. It could be a blessing. Bob Bob in chat says, I, f I fed a giraffe once. Super long tongue. Did not expect it. No. Oh, the cleaning station in Meerkat's the way I like it. It's run out of water. Oh, dear. I'll just... Okay. This is right, I'm doing it. Okay. What are the challenges? Free animal. Free animal. Yeah, we've done it. It's fine. A zoo collection. Animal release. If we release a... If we release a level 15 animal, which we almost certainly have, we'll get some money. So I might find maybe an antelope to just quietly, uh, you know, send to the farm. Oh, God, but I've named them all after viewers. Uh, Let's see. Uh, okay, we can always. Let's yeah. Let's maybe not do that. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, let's maybe not do that. That's fine. 
Uh, right, I'm going to see if the zoo collection will allow me to see what we actually need now. Oh, yeah. So ah, there we go. It's back. It's back. It's back to normal. Uh, we need monitor lizards. A, a Nile monitor lizard, and a trumpeter bird. Nile monitor lizards. Antelopes, one of two. What? Do we need a second type of antelope? Uh, I don't know which one have we got. A gems uh, brook or a topi? Oh, I can't remember which one we actually have. Uh, I also can't remember now what a fucking... My memory is just absolutely shot to pieces. I literally just looked up what a, what a monitor lizard likes to live in. And then it's gone whoop, straight out of my head again. <sighs> monitor lizards. Nile monitor lizard. Tropical rock, that's right. Tropical rock. Uh, Too cool for Cape says, we knew what we were getting into in volunteering our names. It's the circle of life. Maybe we can flog one of the videos then. I'll try and find something, something level 15 that we can just, you know. Um. We got, um, some advertising going. Oh, no, we haven't. Internet seems. Uh, did we look Brian. up, did we Google the internet? I can't remember if we already did that. Yeah. You Google the internet, so I'm just okay. going. Okay, great. Okay. Where... Once that's done, I'm gonna look up what a what a monitor lizard is. Oh, you can do that now. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, animals, adopt new animal, monitor lizard. What is a monitor lizard? Research. Five seconds. What is? What is a monitor lizard? Um. Okay, Nile monitor lizard. Bjorn. <laughs> Daria, that's very funny. And Bjorn. Okay, right, let's try and find... Ah, ping animal level. Let's try and find a level 15 animal that isn't named after a viewer. Peter Fisher, that's named after a viewer, all right. Level 15 animals in here. Oh, the name is blocked. What exhibit what is, is this? I don't know. What was so rude about it? I don't know. I don't even know what animals are in here. View animals. The name is blocked. The lemurs. What's yeah, cool? the epidemic's <laughs> over. Okay, well, all right. Whatever this lemur's called, we shouldn't have called it that, apparently, so let's just release it. Okay. We've unlocked the screaming hairy armadillo, which sounds, frankly, filthy. What on earth did I call... I called it Lima Peru. Lima Peru? Yeah. What's the offensive there? I don't know. Lima. Le lemurs. Lemurs with a clean name. That's what that exhibit's called now. We should probably get another lemur to replace a level 15 one. Adopt new animal. Lemurs. Red lemur. We're going to get a hattie. All right, we've researched research streamlining. We've looked up how to look things up. Uh, yeah, it's uh, also cheaper to look things up. Oh, great. That is actually really good. And then I think this one... Oh, that's right. The lemur was called Titan Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that might that might do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. I was playing with fire with that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, thanks, Will, for, for remembering that one. Um, um, very yeah, what should we call this one? What's a, what's a good clean name for a lemur? Nice. Lima. I feel like we need to show show willing to behave. Well, at least we got we got to release an animal, hey. And we're about to get five grand for uh getting cinnamon back to health. Nice. So that's fine. Cleaning station needs refilling, may as well refill the Oh yeah, Lima Las Vegas. We were gonna call it uh, that. Let's call it that. Uh, that's a good one. We can't select text in this game, right? Lima Las Vegas. Uh, Vegas. <laughs> Don't know what I was typing there. Get censored again. I, I mean it, it it I did it did start V A G. <laughs> But, uh... Ping animal variety. Ping... What do we need to ping? We said... <gasps> what? 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 Neglected? What? They were... They were having a great fucking time. What? I've never seen that before. Me neither. Sounds Stole our meerkat. After we saved it from the brink of death. Crazy. Because when it turned up, they were like, oh, it's really sick and it's going to get confiscated if you don't nurse it back to health. <sighs> so wait, now what? Now we've just got meerkats that are getting upset because there aren't enough bloody meerkats. Yeah, don't... <laughs> I just realised I also... I <laughs> I also adopted these. I didn't rename them. They're called Tony and Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> let's get. Oh. Let's just oh, adopt some new. Yeah. <laughs> let's uh, let's maybe rename those. Uh, King. Sure. Why not? Wow. Well, I know how to fix this problem. Oh wait. What? Uh, no, that's the exhibit. Animals. View animals. Select animal. Rename animal. Cinnamon 2. Rename. Cinnamon 3. Cinnamon 4. <sighs> well, there we go. Okie dokie. I, can't, I absolutely cannot believe they just robbed a meerkat off us. What do they want now? Animals. Ah, magazine photograph. Domestic llama. Absolutely. Where are you, domestic llamas? Domestic llamas. Come here. Whoops. Eh. 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 Right, magazine's gonna bloody eat that up. I'm sorry, we've got a challenge that's like, is, we've got half an hour left on it. A group of domestic llama enthusiasts are coming to your zoo and would love to see a baby domestic llama. Get your domestic llamas to breed so that a baby is born just in time for their visit. What? Fuck off, fuck off. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, You've they got want half an to breed an animal. Yeah, just in time. Absolutely furious. Absolute, absolutely livid. You know. Right, 
right, let's have a look at the zoo overview. All right, there's not enough decoration, apparently. And there is that massive bit where the old llama enclosure is, so I might just slap down a big statue or something. Oh, wait. I think fountains can be quite fun, can't they? Uh, ugh. Statues. Let's just build a tortoise statue. Or an animal totem statue. Why is it so small when the topiaries are absolutely massive? Okay, Titan Uranus the Red Lemur has learned wildlife habits in a record time. It's pretty good news. Okay, so we've done all the um, level one research. Cool, nice work. Admin. Admon. Concession, entertainment. Do we have a Lima Keeper already? I think we do, yeah. Grave news. Nathan W. the Greater Flamingo has fallen ill from neglect. What? Bullshit. Where are the flamingos, anyway? Which, okay, that doesn't bode well if I'm like, where are the flamingos? <laughs> Exhibit items. Oh, okay. The cleaning station's empty and the, the feed is nearly out. I understand. But we... We do also cool. have zookeepers. Like, what's wrong with them? All right, where are the zookeepers? I have some more. There's only, yeah, there's only two. Oh, okay. Our high-intensity internet advertising campaign has ended. High-intensity internet campaign. Oh, brilliant. We can construct tiger mascot attractions. Let's build one of those. That'll entertain the bastards. Oh, another caiman. Smooth-fronted, no doubt. Uh, no less, rather. No doubt. <laughs> Smooth no. fronted, no, no doubt. Steve Anderson's got to go. Bye, Steve Anderson. West Coast Weaver. Our zookeepers are not ill from neglect. Come on. That's just mean. Okay. Tiger mascot. Oops. What are we going to call the tiger mascot? We've, we've already got Tom who went to Rada or something. Okay, Brad Stokes... The greater flamingo has been cured and should recover from their injury. But the flamingos are out of water again? What are they doing with it? Where are the flamingos? Alex Simpkin, the blue and yellow macaw, has fallen ill from neglect. This has not happened to us before. Why is it happening while we're live on, on the internet? I don't know. I don't feel great about it. Okay, meerkats. Celian K says, I'll be the tiger mascot. Okay. Lovely. Thank you very much for stepping up well to the plate volunteered. on that one. Celian K. The cleaning station in this flamingo has run out of water and needs feeding. What are they doing? Are they, sh like, are they shitting directly into it? Grave news, Seatog, the blue and yellow macaw in Core Blimey, has fallen ill from neglect. What is going on? Where's all... what? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go look after the macaws. This is, this is upsetting. James Marston has done a super chat saying, burst through door holding whiskey and crisps. I'm sorry I'm late, my new amp arrived, and I've spent the last hour messing around with it. That sounds amazing. Don't be sorry, because it's... Don't be sorry about new amp day. New app day. The best kind of day. Macaulay, Macaulay Culkin's ill. Shit. Why are they all suddenly getting ill? I don't know. Apparently they've been neglected, which I resent as an implication. Thanks for sorting out K-Man. How's it going? The flamingos. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. Ah, oh, we didn't get a photo of a baby animal. We don't have a baby animal. Fuck off. Website designer prick. 
exhibit items. Okay, that's fine. Goodness me. That was a lot. Louis Fairman says, I'm glad I didn't volunteer my name for a for an animal. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what? Okay, Alex Simpkin, the blue and yellow macaw in Call Blimey, has been cared for and recover. Should recover from the thing. Okay, Megalomalopolis is out of... Oh my god. Right, Megalomalopolis. Needs... Refilling. No, don't replace. Refill. Okay. And, sure, let's just refill that while we're at it. Admin! Um, pretty sure I've got them all, but is there... How do we check? Cool blimey's out of water. Sorry, I'm on it. Exhibit items. <sighs> Cleaning station. Okay. Cool. Uh-oh. A zoo inspection is coming to visit soon. We need to get the average animal happiness into the green for three minutes, or else he won't be pleased, and we'll take just take an animal. Oh, and they still want more decoration. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah. Time to... Uh, we're going to bring in another topiary. Uh, I've got a, a tapir statue coming. Oh, yes, please. Right. That's perfect. Ooh. Oh, yeah, doing this by yourself. It's intense. Turns out. Uh, okay, the cleaning station in Mon the Geese has run out of water. Oh, for God's sake. It's just been so chill up until... like, Well, it's been so chill whenever we've done this, but... Yeah. And so loads of them is out of food. Ah, oh, shit! Ah, uh, planers. Janice is on strike. We don't need them. <laughs> nah, we'll do the bins ourselves. The zoo's being run perfectly. Look how, how efficient and everything is fine. Everything's fine, everything's fine. We're not at risk of having a random animal confiscated. Stolen. I mean, how if they want to confiscate one, what's he going to do? Is he just going to spin around and point at one? Yeah, how does he... Oh. All right, Tufted Capuchins. Outback Large. We've got this. Right, I'm going to have a look at some bins. See if they need doing. Can't believe I'm being reduced to this. Empty trash can. Uh, is that a trash can? No, that's a bench. Oh, that is a trash can. <gasps> oh, my God! I thought you had to teleport down to clear the trash cans. You don't. What? You just, you just tap square on them, and they empty. Amazing. Okay, where are the trash cans, though? Yeah, you just hover over them and hit oh space. Oh, my. Oh, we'll, we'll break oh. this strike with ease. Oh, that has changed everything. Yep. That way. Opinion of cleaning the bin. Yes, please. Okay. Honestly, I have never known such filthy animals as these flamingos. Oh, the Is guests that... are disappointed that something they demanded unreasonably wasn't possible. The flamingos are honestly... Like, I don't want to name and shame people, but... Nathan W., Jamie McCluskey and Brad Stokes. What, what are you even doing in there? I think it's probably because two of them are ill. Oh, they got the poops. Yeah, they got the poops. Oh, no. Their cleanliness is going down. Why is it going down? Because oh. of the poops? No, there are no poops. They're sick, but... If the cleanliness is going down, have a wash. Have a what? Have a wash. Okay. Oh my god. No, get out the buggy. Stupid dickhead. 
Okay. Edit mini exhibit. Exhibit items. Cleaning station. Edit station. Refill. Can we not upgrade it? Bloody hell. Okay. Grass and leaves feeding station. That's run out of food. Exhibit items. Animal care. I'm going to upgrade this thing in the hopes that it just stays fuller for longer. Alex Wright says, don't cross the picket line. The Janices are on strike. We're the bad guys, Alex Wright. We are the zoo tycoons. <laughs> like, of course we're yeah. going to cross the picket line. The picket line's there because of us. I hate to break it to you. Yeah, we're the bad guys. Yep. Uh, yeah. Isabel CW1 says, did Johnny just summon the buggy just so they could honk at the flamingos? Yes. Yes, it did. Right, I'm going to go have a look at the flamingos again because they're probably just, you know, on the brink of pooping death. Around. Just pooping. Just pooping around. Where even are they? There they are. Oh, no. They're actually relatively clean right now. Dirty birds. Dirty birds. More goose has run out of food. Exhibit items. Edit station. Refill. Okay. Empty in a trash cans, cause it's really easy now. Turns out it was always easy. Well, were we even paying them for? Picket lines! <laughs> So many empty trash cans now. Oh my god. We just I picked up so find... much trash. Oh my goodness. I can't even find any full ones. Oh gee, I sure do miss all the janitors. Their strike's going to start working any minute. Seriously, I can't find any full ones. Oh, I found one. Okay. Wow. Okay. And to loads of them, they eat bloody loads of food. It's almost like it's just one cleaning station and I should really um, build line. a second one. So I probably will. I'm going to build the... They pierce statues. They pierce statues. Um... Corey, I'm a lame son of Super Chat saying, really need your good stream vibes. I've got to quickly find a new place to live and it's super stressful. That sounds rubbish. I'm so sorry. No. I mean, moving house anyway is the most one of the most stressful things you can do, let alone having to do it quickly. That's rubbish. So sorry. Right, we need a photograph of a white-tailed mongoose. Stat! Um. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, sorry. By tail mongers. Oh. Ding! We're absolutely soaring through the levels now that you're here. Thank God. Ama amazing Jaguar! Amazing! What a good Jaguar. Well, we've also got a bear mascot as well. We should get one of them. Yeah. Uh, right. The magazine's going to bloody love that. Feed the janitors to the meerkats. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Oh, we researched a macaw keeper as well. Oh, nice. Where, where, where are the macaws? I'm, I'm sorry. Did I not take a, a photo? A good. Oh, oh, they didn't like that photograph of a white-tailed mongoose, apparently. Uh, <laughs> and here's me saying they bloody love it. Right. There you go. It's a photograph of two of the bastards. You know what? Three of the bastards in a cuddle pile. Battle pile. If they don't like that, they can fuck off. All right, great. Best kept zoo. Uh, yeah, how are our decoration needs looking? Yeah, they're happy. Oh, no, wait, that's the mongoose. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. Good job. Now we got a bear mask. Who's got a... You need to rename the oh, bear Oh, who mask. wants to be a bear mascot? My... Uh, I'm not going to lie, my... um. 
uh, my normal habit is to name them after washed up actors because I just think it's funny. But um, if anyone wants to be the bear mascot, then they can. Clem. Clem got in first. C L E M. Clem. Rename. Bear mascot. C L E M. Where's, there we where go. is Clem? Right next to the big bear. Oh, Will the Massive uh, Bear? Will the Massive Bear. Let's have a look at Clem then. Hey, Clem. Wow, that suit is um, quite scary, actually. Oh, yeah, it's quite... Yeah. Um... Why are you roaring like a lion, stupid bear? Not you, Clem, obviously. Uh, oh, my word. What? Uh, if you go near the mascot and you press space to interact. Oh, no. Very strange happens. Oh, no. I think you should give that a go, Johnny. Oh! No! Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> no, so weird. Why is it? Clem, why are you grabbing my <laughs> buns? Go <laughs> away. I can't run away either. <laughs> oh goodness. That's um Clem, why? <laughs> Alright. Magazine photograph. Is it Red Lima? Is that what you want? You got it, pal. Red Lima. Bang. Done. Don't know if it was a coincidence, but the lemurs all scattered when um, some fireworks went off. <laughs> oh. Gang, gang, cockatoo. Gang, wow. gang, cockatoo. Dang. We definitely need one of them. Yes. Uh -oh. Back to yeah. work. Get back to emptying the empty bins that don't need empty because I emptied them all. Surprise. Nick Jeffries done a super chat saying, was listening while shopping. Uh, animal names. US of Lemurica. Prolope. Jenny Aguti. Brackets. Jenny Aguta. Uh, and Lake Windermere Cat. Also, name a sandwich for me. I don't think we can name individual sandwiches, but I'll try. Uh, name the burger. Place, right? Should, should, yeah, I'll, I'll build a burger joint then. Or a sandwich shop. Food and drink. Burger barn. Pizza. Pizzeria. Pizzas? Oh. Well, yeah, pizza's a kind of open yeah, sandwich, right? Yeah, it's an open sandwich. <laughs> that is, that is going to spark a whole new debate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, chat. Uh, pizzas. Uh, <laughs> type of sandwich. Discuss. <laughs> Calzone's kind of like got it's bread. Simplest, oh. Yeah, it's like a. Oh, With but it's sealed. Filling. But does that make it a pasty? It's sealed. <laughs> oh my word! This is this is too much for a Thursday night. Yeah. We need another type of antelope, do we? Oh, we need gems box. Alex Simpkin says pizzas are a sandwich. Jack Wood says I'm with Swain on this. Apparently, we've already had this discussion on Discord. Fancy toast. Fancy toast. I like yeah. that, yeah. Uh, Paul Vash says Italian burrito. <laughs> Linz Miller says pizza equals not a sandwich. Calzone equals sandwich. Is that because of the bread top and bottom? Is that, I guess, is yeah. That, uh, okay. Cheerful Spider says by that logic, all pies are sandwiches. I mean, I think we all know a pie is not a sandwich, actually, Cheerful Spider. <laughs> Is pies, pies pastry, right? Yeah. What if a, what if a pizza was made with pastry instead of a bread base? What would that be? Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yasmin Wari says pizzas are just toasties. Dang. Wow. Yeah, that that's sparked off a whole big thing. We haven't even built yeah. the fucking pizzeria yet. <laughs> Oh dear. Hang on. Right. Concession. Food and drink. 
pizzeria. Oh, wait. No, we need to research it. I'll wait until we've researched the Elephant Plaza. Dysfunctional no. Crayon comes in swinging, saying cal a calzone is a dumpling. Oh, wow. That is a bold, that's a bold statement. Yeah. Okay, pizzeria. Research. In 31 seconds, we're going to know what a pizzeria is. Chaos says, what is the best sandwich filling, though? Not now, Chaos. We're talking about <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I get a, uh, What's the best pizza topping? Best pizza oh, wait, topping. No, that's, that's... Artichokes. I mean, obviously, you know, if it was like, you know, what do you want in your pizza? I wouldn't just say artichoke, but I think... I have. In terms if you had of... a choice, if it was like, obviously, standard pizza base. Yeah. And one topping. You're one topping. I guess, I guess che cheese is... I is, is the... Cheese is assumed. Yeah, and... A sauce is assumed. Yeah. Right? yeah, 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 yeah. So we're talking about a margarita where you can put any one topping. One on topping on it. I would elevate that to be. I just quite like olives. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like keep it simple, really. Okay. Ah, oh, Titan Uranus the Red Lemurs had a baby with their mate, and all are doing well. Uh, Nick's Lovely. surprising sandwich shop. <laughs> there we go, Nick. We've named an entire sandwich shop after you. I feel like we should put some more animals in the zoo. Uh, yeah. Bob Bob says bacon. Yeah. Paul Vash says pepperoni. Sun-dried tomato yeah. says Alyssa. Nice. That's a nice one. Shift Shift says battered fish is a calzone. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I can see the logic though. Uh, god, that's good. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, yeah, I'll okay. concede that one. <laughs> battered fish is a calzone. Does that okay. mean a battered sausage is a calzone? Uh, I took a leap. I don't know about that leap, mate. Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Uh, calzone. calzone. All right, trumpeter battered. birds. We're getting a bloody trumpeter bird. Fucking hell. Oh, I, I wanted to get a gang gang thing, whatever that was. Oh, what yeah. A gang gang cockatoo. Uh, where do I find them? Grey winged trumpeters like a tropical tree. Sounded like a tongue twister, like an, uh, an actor's warming up for something. Tropical trees. Everybody loves a tropical tree. Everyone loves a tropical tree. Okay, the meerkats are out of water to clean themselves with. I'm just going to sort that out and then I'll get back to this tropical tree. Oh, and the, and the bloody macaws are out of out of it as well. They're out. They're out of it. Oh, and they're out of food. What do we pay these keepers for, assuming we have some? Uh, maybe we should get some more. Uh, I've filled it up. Yeah. yeah. Brendan Jelly says, surely the trumpet bird should be called Louis Armstrong. But here's the thing, right? Parrots or birds that have lips. So how can they how can they provide an embouchure? Hmm? Answer me that one, chat. Now we're done talking about what is a dumpling. Okay, Grave news. Three. Cinnamon 2 has fallen. Oh, my God. <gasps> we can get a Peregrine I, Falcon, uh, John. Um, Fuck that. Peregrine Falcon. We can send one to uh, our actual other zoo. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you do that. You uh, send it to the reserve, I think, which sounds like you're letting it die. Oh, okay. God. All the animals are fucking dying again. Oh, how? What? I don't know. How? I literally just sorted out the macaws. Oh, and there's a drought. I 
Okay. Exhibit items, feeding station. We've got to build another ranger station or whatever the hell it's called. Oh god, yeah, these are... We're doing really... Oh, challenge animal happiness unsuccessful. That's the first time we failed that. No, don't replace, just refill. Which animals? Can't even find ones that are empty. Uh, if you ping animal hygiene, that sort of helps. But I've been trying to trying to refill some of them. Okay, so what was ill? Macaws. Okay, Cinnamon 2 is okay. Just needs to stay happy. Well, one of these is hungry. One of them, the other two aren't. I guess it's only eaten yet. No sense. I don't care about the guests. I don't care if the guests are hungry. The guests have got plenty of food. Yeah. Pizza. Ha. Sandwiches. Multiple sandwich That's options. Right. Multiple, some of them very surprising actually. Honestly. Ooh. Oh god. Oh no. The chat's talking about cloacas again. Right, trumpeter birds. Gonna adopt a trumpeter bird or possibly two if they yep, I'm gonna adopt two trumpeter birds. And then uh, I'm going to build another bloody keeper station. We do have quite a lot of money, actually, so that should be fine. Oh, yeah. Slam! Stop letting off fireworks. James Marston has done a super chat saying, something I've always wondered is, how did you get Oxboxtra to play D&D? &D? I didn't. They approached me. Um, because the audience kept saying, um, <laughs> Emma Benton says, you say that as if the reason we're all talking about cloacas isn't your fault, Johnny. All right, fine. Uh, but right, James Marston, uh, actually they approached me because, um, the fans have been asking them to play D&D &D for so long that when they hit 2 million subscribers, they were like, let's reward them by doing a special one-off, um, D&D &D recording. And then it, we actually just kept on doing it, so... That was it. Um, clean animals, please. Okay. We've completed the research Lionel Richie, have we? Mm. Yeah, well, that's okay. Yeah. I think right. that's the one time this game just oversteps the mark. Yeah, so like, puns? No, those are for uh, us. Not for you. Why are all of the possible zookeepers crap? Uh, let's train him. Uh, yeah, train I'm good. Right, hire Sharon. Train Sharon. Train Sharon again, why not? Upgrade for more slots. I'm going to upgrade the bloody... I'm not having the animals do a bloody... Another insurrection. I'm hiring loads of keepers, John. Do it. <gasps> Tape here, Topiary, do it! Uh, Josephina Wengerberg has done a super chat saying, Do you have macaws for concern? Oh, that's good. Wah, wah, wah. Higher. They're all going to go bloody well on strike after this, aren't they? Yeah, of course. Standard. Oh, the janitors again. They'll be like, oh, oh there's lots of them. Oh, well, there's I'm so many bins. Um, just fly above the zoo and empty them that way. Duh. <coughs> There are so many bins. So many Where's bins. Uh. Oh no. Cheerful Spider says, okay, I'm going to have to super chat this terrible joke, so Johnny is obligated to read it. <laughs> and sure enough, Cheerful Spider's done a super chat saying, have you heard about the new bird based stealth game? It's called Cloaca Dagger. Don't, don't, John. You'll only encourage them. 
Automated till systems? Yes. Yes, please. Cheaper construction? That sounds safe. <laughs> uh. Game's slow. Oh, I'm sorry that the website designer was disappointed we didn't take a picture of a, a baby animal. We were trying to keep them all alive. Because they were really giving it a good go then. Yeah. Well, hopefully this some of this research will help keep <sighs> alive. Why are some of you so dirty? Industrialized decorating. That just sounds mm. ominous. Oh, why are you all so filthy? Oh, the domestic llama enthusiasts are disappointed we didn't breed a llama on spec for them. Wankers. Oh, sorry, can you imagine if... Can you imagine writing to a zoo and being like, I really find these animals cute. Can you just make sure that they breed? Uh, we're coming on. Um, we're coming in, in two weeks, actually. In half an hour. Yeah, we're coming in half an hour. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's, Hi. It's my son Jeremy's birthday, and he just really loves um, red pandas. So that one super early doors when it's when you can't you can't breed you can't adopt any animals that enjoy being hosed down. Oh, yeah. And they're like, we want you to feed an animal and hose another one down at the same yeah. time. No. Trey Zen has done a super chat saying... Great, there's another pooping epidemic. Trey Zen has done a super chat saying, come on now, Johnny, you know we don't need encouragement, but if it does get rough, you'll just have to bear with us. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks so go. much. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a peregrine falcon going. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Peregrine falcon. What are they like? Bush grove. I'll show you. I'll make you a bloody bush grove. Bush grove. Bang. In order to release an animal, um, you have to um, get its level 15, don't you? Yeah. Uh, Why were you trying to get rid of us? No, I was just <laughs> thinking about the peregrine falcons. Oh, right. Oh. Do you, have, you, oh, do you have to get it to level 15 and then put it in a box? I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Animals. Oh, donated animals. What donated animal can we have? Oh no! Wait, these are donated animals from us. Adopt new animal. Falcons. Oh yeah, go for it. Hey, we've unlocked Cougar Plaza. Plaza. Okay. Sarah Greenwood says, brilliant stream again, Johnny. I'm off because I have to do exercise, brackets, arg. So I give you permission to kill me off if you need to. You're okay, Sarah Greenwood. I'm not going to do that to you. That's all right. Okay, good. The keepers seem to be refilling things so that the animals aren't dying. Or get just getting filthy. Oh. As soon as they say that. Except about items. Ugh. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Guests want to see a hose interaction performed with one of your animals. Can we even hose down any of these animals? I don't think so. Cheerful Spider has done a super chat saying, Do real life zookeepers have special bird lasers so they can Scandinavian? I like so, that one. Mm, there was uh, last week somebody started telling me a fascinating fact. Uh, the cleaning station's just been refilled, but it's been refilled like 
halfway. Um, they started telling what sounded like quite a believable fact, and then it turned out the punchline was just Scandinavian. And I oh. fell fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Oh. Right, researching peregrine falcons. Are they, as I suspect, some kind of giant beetle? We'll find out. There's also a gastrant... Right. John, I'm going to try... I'm just going to pay to end the gastroenteritis thing. Oh, mm. Okay. Oh, it's 40 Poop. grand. No, leave it. No, not, not, poop. not paying 40 grand. Let them poop. I will, I will end the drought, though. Cost me water if they get a poop everywhere, right? Yeah. Uh, right, falcons. We know what they are now. Animals. Adopt new animal. Falcons. Peregrine falcon. Lena. Yes. And Duke. Bang. There you go. There's Peregrine Falcons. Actually, what levels are they already? View animals. Duke is level 10. And Lena's level 7. So Duke is our ticket to absolutely nailing that other zoo that we built the other day, John. Brilliant. Rhino Topiary unlocked. Wow, their upper levels are really uninspiring, aren't they? Yes. You can build a new type of bush. Okay. Uh, right, cockatoos. We need a sulfur-crested cockatoo. Oops. So let's find out what sort of tree they like. Sulfur-cresteds enjoy a tropical tree. Of course they do. They bloody love it. Gonna adopt some jaguars. Yeah, that sounds great. Jaguar. Didn't know we could actually get those. Amazon Jaguar. Oh, Trey Zen says uh, Josephine Wengerberg requested being a falcon. I remember now. Uh, okay. Does anyone want to be a jaguar? Yeah, let's. Um... I need to have at least two. Okay. Uh, where are the. Falcons. Abby Marie wants to be a Jaguar. Uh, I will nail the spelling. Well, I'll tell you the spelling once we have actually got the Jaguars. Uh, oh, and the ghost of Laura Palmer. But the ghost of Laura Palmer says you can just name it Ghost. Great. Uh, I'm writing these right. down on a really nice wedding invitation. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Who was the first one? Uh, Abby Marie. A double B E Y. Oh, hang on. A double B E Y. Yep. And then Marie. M A R I E. M A R I E. And then the other one is just Ghost. Just having a quick look at Josephina Wengerberg. A falcon. And then we're going to go see Abby Marie and Ghost. The Jaguar. Zzz. Zzz. Jaguar zzz. Josephine says, time to terrorise mice. That's the spirit. Meow. Jaguars. Here's Ghost. Oops. Here's Ghost. Sort of roaming around. 
Hey, no more pooping. We saved 40 grand. There's Abby Marie. Uh, wow, wow, wow. <gasps> Tabby Marie gonna use the scratching post? Looks like it. Come on, for fuck's sake, camera. Aw. Bloody hell. Don't know what vitamins you're getting, Abby Marie, but your your claws are super strong and your hair looks really shiny. Tropical Large. We need to rename that. Um, Jaguar City. Reed Stilt says that Jaguar exhibit doesn't look safe for anyone. What do you mean? A waist-high wall is the perfect way to keep Jaguars in. Especially when there are fireworks going off right next to it. <laughs> That fence seems low? No. I'm sure this child who is dressed as a giraffe will be absolutely fine. Just going for a spin, just to take the edge off. It's been a long day at the zoo. We've still got just under an hour to go. Wow, you'd you'd think the janitors were still on strike. Oh really? Yeah, I might build some another janitor office because I just found a bin that looked absolutely overflowing. Come on, let me build one. Why is it not letting me click on this? Louis Fairman has done a super chat saying, "What did Mary say to Frodo when Pippin Pippin stole my bird? Peregrine took my falcon." <laughs> Peregrine took. Very good. Took me a second there. Peregrine took. My falcon. Oh, oh well, 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 well. If it isn't uh. the janitors all going on strike. I mean, I'm not really inclined to hire any more janitors right now. I'm going to do it, just so when we break the strike. No scabs. Um. Oh, you can't hire them while there's a strike on. That makes oh. sense. HC Bird says, maybe treat them like humans? The janitors? We've, we've been fine with them. What? What do you mean, treat them like humans? Waterstar86 is on Super Chat say, Everyone is worried about fences, but not the magic appearing car. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. You raise a good point. And if the car appeared, I don't know. Okay, well, tidiness is now in the red. So let's just become sky bin people. Uh, Jack escaped the box again and on a Super Chat say, With that wall, it's gone from zoo to safari park all the way to survival experience. Honestly, the Jaguars are happy. They're not going to bust out. It's okay. This isn't Jurassic World Evolution. In which they absolutely will try and escape. Do, 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 do. Famine and bins. HC Bird says I support workers' rights. I mean, to be clear, so do I. Like, I and, mean... Andy B. Andy B, mate. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know. John runs a business that has people working for it, and as far as I'm aware, they're pretty happy about the arrangement. Um, it's a, with, uh, I'm doing a bit, basically, because these are digital sort of simulations of workers. I mean, there's a race course at a zoo that's open. Let's see.
Are all the janitors trained up uh, as high as they'll go? Uh, maybe not all of them. Or is it just because there's not enough of them? I think I think there's not enough of them. So I built a new janitor. Oh, the guests are disappointed that we didn't do the demonstration they demanded, eh? Bins, bins, bins. We've received the Meditate. Fame Achievement Award. Breeding pro rare animal photograph. They'd like a... F oh, for God's sake. A group doing research into rare animals would like a photograph of a baby animal variant to put in their publication. Breed one and then take a photo of it. Preposterous. Do these people know what a zoo is? Like, it's not a vending machine. Isabel CW1 says, can you pay to end the strike? Like, with the gastro? Yes. But they always want loads of money. Crisis details. Oh, okay, in fairness, they want nine grand. <laughs> Oh, yeah, give it to him. <laughs> I think it starts higher, and then as the time goes on. That's goes right, down. yeah, you can you can make them nervous until eventually they just go back to work. Alex Wright asks a very good question. Is Zoo Tycoon capable, compatible with the racing wheel I just got? Because that'd be good. Yes, Ooh. please. Okay, right. Let's hire some janitors, since we can hire them again. We're going to hire Adrian, because Adrian's already three stars. We're going to hire Mihail, who's already three stars. And let's hire Fred, and train Fred up to level three. There we go. Right. Oh yeah, Tropical Tree 06 has got nothing in it. What were we going to put in it? Uh, don't know. Do we need another? Oh, it was a cockatoo. Sulfur Crested Cockatoo. There we go. Flint. A cockatoo. Rocky the cockatoo and April the cockatoo. <clears throat> Just call that one cockatoos. I had nothing, I had nothing in the tank. What? Are you joking? Are you actually joking? What happened? You can't call the cockatoo exhibit cockatoos because the word cock is... is banned. What? It blanked it. I can't, I can't call it cockatoos. Uh... You know... what? Atoos. <laughs> Unbelievable. They can't have cockatoos and dreams. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, view animals. Let's rename some cockatoos. Uh, Michaela Hawkins wanted to be a cockatoo. Fine. And then when 
another type of giraffe. Oh well. Cyborg penguin wants to be a cockatoo. That'll fox him. A cockatoo called penguin. Mankoy says, this is going to be an issue when we get to the dick dick enclosure. Whoa. That was good, Mankoy. You can be a cockatoo for that. Okay. What? What? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I can't call it Mankoy because it contains the word mank. A polite bird. That's what it's called. A polite bird. Honestly. Okay. We should be getting there on the old um, zoo collection now on the normal. Okay, we've just got one type of antelope left to get, and it's topi antelope. Toby the antelope. Topi. Toby the antelope. Honestly. We've got topi antelopes. What? Why does it think we don't have topi antelopes? Zoo, explain. Bob Bob says, wait, mank is a bad word? Manky can be used to mean, like, unpleasant. Oh, we need gems box. That's what we need. Silly me. Manky just means that something's a bit dirty. Uh, Lucy Sun Super Chat saying, I'm, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah, they won't stop pooping. Uh, Lucy Sun Super Chat saying, I'm home from work before your stream is over. That's worth celebrating, maybe with some fireworks? Thank you very much. Uh, okay, Gem Spock Antelope. They like Savannah. You're research we're researching a Katanga lion? Cool. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, Savannah. We can build Savannah large. I've oh. just built a Savannah large. Oh, cool. That's where I'm going to put the lions. Uh, do you reckon oh, okay. lions will go in with stuff? Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to put the. Uh, I'll um. I'll build a medium Savannah. <laughs> have we Have we tested the theory that what we put in might eat eat other things? We've not. Because we're just assuming that, right? Yes. Not like. Uh, all right. Um, okay. You know what? I'm going to research Savannah Medium just in case. But sure, <gasps> we've unlocked a lesser sooty owl. Some more lions. Yes. Right. So where's this large Savannah here? This will be it. Okay. Savannah Large O One. Uh. Okay. I'm going to call this lions, possibly eating antelope. Animals. Adopt new animal. Antelopes. Oh, Gems you want to put like, feeding stations in and I have not done any of that yet. This animal is not compatible with the other animals in this exhibit. <laughs> so I will I will leave you to um to sort out the rest of the stuff in that exhibit and I'm gonna start wonder building if, a savannah medium. I wonder if I can like do other lions. With lions. Probably, yeah. You reckon? I reckon. I'd be very surprised if you couldn't. Arcadia says, I could be lion. I don't know if that's I could be lying or I could be a lion. Uh, yeah, just Arcadia if you can. Uh, yeah, this one. Is it a R C A D I A. That's it. And there it is. Now a lion. There's also another lion if anyone wants to see. Another lion. Um. Yeah, probably. Apparently, lions sometimes eat cheetahs. Uh, they called her Babylon. Would like to be a lion. Babylon probably won't get. Right. Yeah, they called her Babylon, if you can manage. All, all one word. Okay, hang on. 
Yeah, Babylon Carrie... is allowed, but I will. Okay. Carrie Choi is asked to be a lion, but Carrie, you're already a different animal in the zoo. I named one after you when he joins, just because I saw you come in. Uh, yeah, otherwise, they, call... they called her Babylon. Uh, Thanks, named. John. Officially you're doing God's named. work. Oh, I should probably put some stuff in this uh, enclosure, hey. Exhibit items. Animal care. Mmm. The lions in the lion enclosure are going to eat fish, are they? Apparently, they're allowed. No, oh, all right. I looked it up. Lions, tigers, uh, bears, and jaguars love a bit of fish, apparently. Oh my! Right, antelopes bloody love a vine-wrapped pummel rope toy, so that's good. How many antelopes actually? Okay, they could do with one more. That's fine. Animals. Adopt new animal. Antelolo. Gems block antelope. Actually, I wonder. I'm gonna research the bush buck antelope after you're done researching the bumpy bear scratching posts. Done. Cool. Careful Pixel says, I just googled sooty owls and they are cute. Thank you, I will send you a cheque for £1,500. <gasps> We've unlocked hippos. Okay. There's bloody loads of antelope. Two different types in there. And they all seem pretty happy. Oh, I didn't realise the um, the helicopter's branded with Zoo Tycoon. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Right. Edit exhibit, exhibit items, interactions, build interaction. Yeah, we'll just build a feeding interaction. I'm sure people will love that. This zoo's massive now. There wasn't a single animal here when we started. I guess that's what playing for three and a half hours solid will, uh, will do for you. Okay. What do people think of the zoo? People seem quite happy with the zoo. I'm just going to check in on our falcons, if I can ever bloody... There we go. Hi, falcons. Just check in what level you're at. You animals. Duke is level 11. We're getting there, John. Great. <laughs> Animal release, eh? No, I don't think we'll be doing that. Or the rare animal photograph thing. Um, trying to name a toilet. Oh, are you kidding me? As if they the were zookeepers. Come on. Spent too much time talking to the janitors. They want sixty-five grand. Oh no! Wait, we can end this for. Uh, to shorten the strike with 16k. We can oh. shorten it a lot with 40 grand. Uh, it's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot. But then we have got a lot of animals. But then we'll build, once it's over, we'll build more zookeeping. 
You'd hope. Ah, West Coast Weaver says you can name the toilet after me if you want. I feel a bit want, like one right now. I'm sorry to hear that, West Coast Weaver. Uh, I hope this doesn't make it worse. I hope this makes you happy. West Coast Weaver. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ping animal hygiene. Everyone's good so far. Ping animal hunger. Aha. More animal butt, more antelope butt diff. They're kind of hungry in there, so I'm gonna build them a second feeding station. Oh, I can't. Uh, edit station. Upgrade. Upgrade. Well, well, if we haven't unlocked the Emerald Tree Boa. How are we doing over here, pals? It's not. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Oops. Bloody strike. Let's we'll see if it's got any cheaper. 48k. They'll crack. <laughs> They'll crack. Okay, more antelope but diff. You've got food. I don't understand this. Cougar Plaza. Cougar Plaza. Right, I'm just going to sell that. I'm going to sell the stupid feed an antelope thing and build something they can use to just feed themselves. There you go. Fruit feeding station. Animal hygiene, everyone's clean. Lovely. We're doing all right. Lovely stuff. The antelope just need to go eat something. Like, they've got two feeding stations. it with grass and leaves so they've got a more varied diet. Oh, need to pick up some poops. Oh, of course, they won't be doing that, will they? It's not just about the, uh, the food and water. It's also about their poops. Wow, those lines are loud. One just clipped clean through another one. <laughs> Anyone want to be called a lion? Yeah, probably. Let's see. If he says hi, everyone. Hi, Ify. How are you doing? Gang gang style, very good name for the gang gang cockatoo area. Big fan. Let's see how the uh, zookeepers are doing. They're ready to stop striking. They still want 29 grand. Okay, ping animal hunger. What is wrong with these antelope? Why won't they eat? They got the right kind of food. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, they're antelope. 
What are they antelope about? Where are they over there? You know? I'm a bit confused. Right, so Bessie's not eating. Matt's not eating. Pia's not eating. Very weird. Right. I don't understand oh. it. They in the right. Um. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. I moved their entire attraction by mistake. Yeah, they're in the right area, because otherwise they, it's not that they'd stop eating. They'd be unhappy with the habitat. Hmm, that's true. I think I just, I just think I just need to eat something. Oh well, that's fine. Check on the strike again. They want 18 grand now. I'm inclined to do it just to end it. Yeah, quite 17 good. grand. Yeah, sod it. Here you go. Get back to work. Congratulations on surviving this crisis. <laughs> what, do you think they were going to kill us? Slightly alarming. Zoo overview. Animals. No, not animals. Zoo collection. Right. Oh, wow. We've got seven of the... F John, you're absolutely nailing the uncommon species. How many do we need? We've already got half of them. Oh. We need smooth-fronted caimans. <gasps> oh, and caimans. And screaming hairy armadillos. Lovely. Okay, uh, so. Caimans. Smooth-fronted, like a tropical pool. We need a tropical pool and an arid rock. Tropical pool, arid rock. Tropical pool, arid rock. Arid rock. Brooke Boyd says, are there koalas in this game? Yes, there are. We just haven't got any. Okay. That's the arid rock. And just so I don't forget, I build the tropical pool now. Smash that down. Suri alpacas, eh? Animals. Are these... Uh, is this a plateau? With all the other... Um, with the llamas in it? Oh, the... Um, it should be. Yeah, an Andean plateau. Okay, cool. I just don't want to put the alpacas in with the llamas when they... Cheerful Spider says, Koalas, full stop, are, full stop, disgusting. That I can agree with. Yeah? What's this aren't they like? On? Aren't they like carriers of chlamydia? Aren't Bro. They like, isn't it rife amongst koalas? Is it? I think so. Saucy devils. Someone will have to... Oh, uh, yeah. Alex Wright says, uh, do the koala pens require an adjacent koala chlamydia ward too? There we are. Okay. Wow. Gosh. I had no idea. I mean, I you know, I don't, I don't mean to shame anyone, but... Hetna Kick says uh, koalas are stupid and gross. I had no idea people hated them so much. Eighty percent of ko koalas carry chlamydia, apparently. Eighty? Wow. Oh, and they feed their children poo. Oh, that's. I'm not sure how I feel about that either. Me neither. Is there a nutritional value in poo? Probably not. It's poo, right? Well, I mean, some like rabbits have to eat their own poo because they don't absorb enough nutrients the first time round. Oh, that seems. Yeah. Yeah. Hetna Kick says, "I'm not hating. I'm just saying they're stupid and gross." <laughs> Chaos says koalas are really dumb. Almost perfectly smooth brains. So stupid that if you put leaves in front of them on a plate, they won't recognise them as food. Blimey. Wow. They'll be absolutely living in a pub where they bring you your food on a slate or whatever. Oh, what the fuck is this? Actually, no, they'd be delighted because it's like, here's your halloumi fries. I brought you them in a tree.
Oh, I did know this one. Trey Zenson and Super Chat say koala fingerprints have also been confused for human ones during criminal investigations because they're so similar. Armadillo's bar and grill. Zoo overview. Everyone's still pretty happy. Let's just check in on the uh, on the peregrines, eh? Let's just see if they're see if old Duke is ready. Duke is level twelve. I had no idea that, that koalas are so controversial. Hello, lions. Just want to say hi and also thank you for staying behind this incredibly low wall. The animal animations in this are really good. They've nailed the kind of like poor dragging walk of a lion. Get a lion buggy. Yes! Oh, it's a tiger buggy. Whatever. Oh, no! Oh, shit! Uh, John? Yeah? You know the lion enclosure's got, like, a cool tunnel? Uh-oh. What's uh, I sort of got my buggy wedged in it. Like, I can't reverse or, or, or go forward. I'll just get, I'll just get out. I'll be fine. El Amel El El Emily is done a super chat saying, "Hello, Johnny. Lovely you and your streams. Would be pleased if you could name one of the next wee critters after my small boy, Lucian. Keep up the fun streams. All right, let's do it. We got any lines going spare? Uh, lion down. Possibly. No, lion bar. Uh, I'm just, right, I'm going to, uh, yeah, let's build something new. Can't believe I got the cart stuck. Oh, they want, they want another hose and feeding interaction at the same time. Like, what's your problem? Why do you want to hose an animal down while it's trying to eat? Okay, Lucian. Let's find an animal that Lucian can be. Oh! Oh no, I've accidentally checked Zoo News, which is like a fake social media feed. Uncommon species. Capuchins. Tufted Capuchin. Right, we'll make Lucian into a tufted Capuchin. Mm. Animals. Capuchin monkeys. Tufted capuchin. Please let me click on the tufted capuchin. Tropical tree on it. Susan Natuno says, why would you want to hose down an animal at all? The bears really enjoy it. They sit down, they're like, come on, hose me down. It's pretty weird. Excuse me. All right. Tropical tree. Capuchin. O's. Adopt new animal. Capuchin monkeys. I have to look up what one is, but I can't wait to meet them. Reed Stilt says, if the animals are anything like my dog, they'll love getting hosed down on a hot day. Apparently, Watson really likes being hosed down, actually. 
Bruce does not like being hosed down. Does he not? He hates it. Wow. Because I kind yeah. of... He's uh, he's all right yeah. with getting in the water and sort of having a little... Oh, swim. he loves a little paddle. Yeah, in his own terms. But does not like being wet. Wow. Against his own terms. So, right. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I can kind of see that. We, we used to have... um. We used to have ferrets, and they hated getting bathed. But if you put a dish of water down on the floor, they'd go ballistic. They'd absolutely love it. Right, we're out of... We've adopted all of the capuchins that are available right now. Um, snakes? Anyone want to be desert snakes? I've got two desert snakes. Two desert snakes. Hang on. Let me just rename. Set animal rename. Here we go. Lucian. There you go. There's Lucian staring someone down. Then gambling back up a tree. Okay. Rename. That one out of Outbreak. Outbreak scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Dustin Hoffman film about Ebola. Yeah, I'll do it. Careful Pixel would like to be a snake, as would Bob Bob. Bob Bob? Bob Bob. And who's the other one? Uh, Careful Pixel. Careful Pixel. Careful Pixel. Careful Pixel. Careful Pixel. Right, we've got one more uncommon species to go. What is it? It's a fossa. Let's get some fossas in the mix, and then uh, we should probably wrap this this little, this little what stream up. Fossa? A fossa, they're pretty cool actually. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, oh, poop. Seriously, this absolute battling poop today, aren't we? It's, I've honestly never seen this many poop disasters. <laughs> well, at least we've unlocked a false water cobra, but a fossa is like, it's a really weird, it's a large cat-like carnivorous mammal, only found in the island country of Madagascar. They love savannah rock. None of that dad rock, just savannah rock. Apparently Titan Uranus the lemur uh, still enjoys contact with humans. So that's good. Oh, the guests are disappointed that we didn't do the demonstration at the same time. 135 grand to end the poop. Nah. What? No. Uh, ah, here we go. Scott Scott Perkins has done a super chat saying koalas feed their young fecal pap because they can't digest the eucalyptus leaves, leaves which to most animals are poisonous and tough to eat. Highly recommend the Frank's True Facts series for more useless facts like that. Thank you very much, Scott Perkins, for oh, a very lovely. generous super chat, and also the um, the the uh, fact about why koalas feed their offspring poop. Fossa are the I lemurs mean, of cats, says Emma Blass. Hmm. Fossa is the lemur of cats. Oh, yeah, okay. I can take. I'll, okay. I'll take that. Fossa, 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 fossa. I'm trying to come up with a pun on fossa. Massive fossa. I don't get it. Massive. F -t 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 -f -f -t 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 anyway, don't worry. Okay. Ah, fossa fuels. Fossa there we go. There we go. Ah, fossa nova. That's a good one. Might have to be fossa nova. Okay. okay. Do they like multiples? Can we do multiples? We can build multiple fossa enclosures. Is there only one per enclosure? Uh, no. Oh, sorry, that was me naming the um the actual enclosure. Oh, the enclosure, right. Um, to name the fossa. No, a, a random L wants to be a fossa, so. Okay. Cool. I will adopt some just as soon as I've googled them to find out what they are. It's going to cost us $247. 
Okay. I haven't even been looking at what's been going on with the... A zoo inspection! Oh no. Yeah, I missed so uh, many um, challenges at the start of this because I was just trying to get it all up and running. Yeah. Whereas I think when we're playing with like three of us, yeah, we tend to... Like... I'm always checking the challenges or whatever. Oops. A random L. And... Uh, the first one I saw... It's quite a nice name for a fossa, actually. Meow Pow. Meow Pow is a fossa. All right, let's see how much it's going to cost us to make all of the animals stop pooping like crazy. Crises, gastroenteritis pandemic, crisis details. 80 grand! Oh, we can actually afford that. We got 206k. That's still a lot. Uh, still a lot. Nice. We've got a really good janitor team. It's really funny that the, the game is like, it's not like your animals are in danger. It's like, you're going to have to pick up a lot more poop. I mean, there was one poop in the entire lion enclosure. I think we're going to be okay. There's not many lions in that. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more lions in it. Yeah. Edit concession? No, that's a concession. New challenge, best zoo ever. Wait. What? A new challenge has been started to find the best zoo ever. Get your average guest and average animal happiness into the green for five minutes. This should actually be fine. Let's just check on the peregrines again. Duke's level 13. And has not moved from the uh, the branch since I last checked. Needle and Fred says, pay your vet bills. Chaos says, I'll sell you a whole bunch of corks. Assorted sizes, only 25 grand. Oh dear. I mean, we're hardly drowning in poop, are we? No, I can't really find them. I think we've just hired a lot of zookeepers. It's pretty great. Ah, oh, there's two poops in with the, the antelope. However will we manage? I wonder what it costs now. Okay, gastroenteritis has agreed to leave if we give it 46 grand. I'm going to say no. Yeah. To cap this off, do you want to meet me at uh, the start of a race course? We have a little buggy oh, race. Yeah, We've not actually done one yet. Ah, there's one by these toilets. Yep. Turlet. Turlet. <laughs> it threw my buggy in just straight up against a tree. Do you need do you need to summon your own I think I can just Oh okay. Oh yeah. Oh just in time. Okay, maybe the Genesis don't like the fact that we're just using it as a private race course, but whatevs. You ready? You ready? I was born ready. I'm, at, I'm, I'm not in a car anymore. No, what the no. hell? Oh, that's rough. Bye. Oh, oh, wait, it's a dead end. Yes, bye. Yeah, where are you going? Shit. <laughs> Who designed this pack? Uh, me? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, great. We're the best zoo ever, though. What? Why did I get out of the is. buggy? This is bullshit. Get out of my way, janitor. I'm still by the fucking toilet at the start. Oh, this is embarrassing. That was about the amount of trash in the park. They're not even on strike. Oh, wait, are they? Oh wait, oh yeah, no, they are on strike. Well, why is the Genesis still walking around then? He should get out the zoo if he's not working. Wow. I've become a horrible person. Oh my god. Get out of my back. Oh, Titan Uranus the lemur has had a baby in the wild though. Lovely. Oh, that is a lot of trash though. Oh, that's so much. Bong. 
Okay, I'm past the first checkpoint. <laughs> Susan says, Johnny is lost in their own zoo. Yeah! Have you seen it? It's awfully designed. Like, dreadful. It's a maze, and the walls here are higher than they are in the lion enclosure. Oh, Chaos says quick photograph it. No, it's in the wild. We can't see it to photograph it. I hear you with your insouciant trumpeting. No one's impressed, John. Oh, fuck. Just run into a bloody bench. Just gonna turn around. Camera, please. Oh, this is humiliating. Oh, run into another bench. Why are there so many people at our zoo? Because it's so popular. Why can't I steer now? Oh dear. God, this is nonsense. An absolute nonsense. Who designed this course as well? It's, yeah. It's <laughs> terrible. I, uh, I just can't ah, get any. This is horrible. Oh, for f I've just fallen fallen victim to the same bloody cul-de-sac you did at the very start of the race, again. Oh, God, I just want this to be over. And break turns. Oh, Keep yeah. Oh, yeah. Take your drifting, buddy. But... Oh, you're nearly done, aren't you? Yes. We've got oh. polar bears, oh. at least. Polar bears? Please don't make me finish the race. Just declare it over. Yeah, it's over now. Okay, great. John won. Sorry, that makes it sound like I'm a really bad loser. But I'm... <laughs> right, see... That's just... Ridiculously difficult, that one. That was obscene. Right, Janice says they want 55 grand. I'm just going to pay them. Bloody it's over! Hell. Okay, all right. Uh, I think that'll probably about do it for this stream. Thank you so much for joining me, John. It is a pleasure, as always, to have you on. And... Um, Pretty soon, we'll have some Peregrine Vulcans put in that first zoo that we made the other day. Oh, so that's going to be ever so pleased. pretty. Yeah, we'll, we'll let him know. Um, come here, giraffe. Uh, yeah, and thanks to everyone who's been watching. It's been a lot of fun. Um, uh, you know you know the drill by now. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. You're literally already watching this channel, so you shouldn't struggle to find it. Um, and uh, there are lots of videos on it. I'll be back on Saturday with a new episode of Press Any Kiedini, um, and then back on Monday to stream uh, some painting. Um, in case you weren't already aware, somehow uh, there's a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Kiedini. I can hear John coming up behind me. I'm just trying to feed Stephanie and the antelope. Um, come on, here we go. And um, yeah. Thanks, thanks everybody for, for hanging out. I'm just going to feed this antelope, probably get run over by John, and then we'll call it a day. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. John, are you clipping through my skull? That's I was trying to eat it, but... Uh, oh, are you trying to eat the banana? Yeah. Perfect. All right, see you later. See you later, Stephanie M, the, the, the antelope, and see you later, everybody else. Take care of yourselves. And, uh, yeah. Goodbye! Bye.